Thank you.
Hello there, welcome back to another brand new day here on Crafters TV. It's Thursday, I'm gonna call it Fabulous Thursday, right out the gate, because my oh my, we've got a couple of really amazing shows for you. Of course, uh, we are in the midst of our anniversary shows as well, so we are giving loads of stuff away. Uh, loads of great product we're giving away in every show. There's giveaways too, and there's amazing shows taking you all the way through the week. She is back in the studio, fresh from her hike yesterday. Uh, Sarah, how are you? It's a double Sarah day. That is, of course, why it's a fabulous Thursday. Well, what can I say? What can I say? I've spent the whole day yesterday preparing for my big day today, thinking it through on that seven hour hike that I did. Uh, yes, for those of you that don't know, while our Leanne was doing shows with you yesterday, I was off hiking up one of the fells in the Lake District. So I'm back and refreshed and rejuvenated and got two awesome shows for you. Now, this first one, is one that I've been planning for weeks and weeks and weeks. If you re if you cast your mind right back to right at the very, very beginning of lockdown, one of the big masterclasses, in fact, we didn't even have masterclass there, we called it Sarah Special, that we did was teaching you how to do loads of different flower forming techniques. And you guys love it. It is one of the most watched back shows that we've had since we launched Crafters TV. Now, We've actually got loads of different dyes that you can use for doing flower forming techniques. And I've never done another masterclass on flower forming since that very one. So what I'm gonna do over the next two hours is show you loads of different flowers. Do you want a little peek at some of the flowers? Oh, yes, here? please. So I'm gonna show you, oh Craig, I don't know where to start. Um, right, we're gonna learn how to do some ruffled styles of flowers like this one, okay? We're gonna learn how to do some puffy styles of flowers like these ones, okay? We're gonna learn how to do some little miniature flowers. So we're gonna do some little diddy ones in here as well. I'm gonna show you all of these. We're gonna learn how to do some rolled paper flowers so we can do some rolled ones as well like this. I'm gonna do a bit of ruffling, a bit of bobbling. And then what I'm gonna do is with all the flowers that we make, I'm then going to show you, can you remember that lovely teacup? Joe's got it over there, right? We've got this lovely teacup, which is three dimensional with all of your flowers stuck on. That is what we're going back. Have a little look at this, right? This is what we're going to show you, isn't it, Joe? Oh, doesn't so that look beautiful? You, I'm going to show you how to get that like floating teacup effect so that we've got something to stick all of our flowers onto, okay? So that's what we're going to build up to. So it'll be brilliant to learn how to do the floating teacup. And it's also going to be brilliant how to do all the different flower forming techniques with a lot of the flower dyes that you've already got. Or perhaps you haven't had a go at flower forming yet. You've been waiting to know which dyes are great for flower forming. I'm going to teach you that. So I'm absolutely roasting here next to the iron. If you're going to craft along with us, by the way, all you need is an iron. Your Gemini Mini will be perfect for doing all these little die cuts. Get any of your flower dies out. You can have a go at these live if you've got some of our form. If not, make sure you bookmark and share this, um, this tutorial. This is going to be one of the ones that you will come back to loads. So if you're on uh, YouTube, you can bookmark it. If you're on Facebook, if you click share, it'll add this onto your wall. Because if you've got any interest at all in flower forming, this is going to become your favourite kind of watchback show. I promise you, Joe. It really will do. The first one that we did, I know back at the start of the lockdown, uh, was so incredibly popular. It was one of the most uh, watched and commented on masterclasses that we did. So I know a lot of you uh, love your flower forming foam. A lot of you maybe have gone for flower forming foam, but have not uh, maybe tried some of these bigger uh, projects that we're going to show you in this show. Now, uh, loads of, uh, sort of freebies to give away, of course, over the course of our anniversary week. We are giving away up to a quarter of a million pounds worth of product throughout the entirety of the week. In this show alone, over 9,000 pounds worth of product to be given away. So that's amazing. Also though, double points across everything. Everything you see here on Crafters TV, everything across our entire website as well, helping you get to that next level, uh, even quicker, of course, of Club Inspire. But, there is going to be a prize draw in this show. It's really difficult, isn't it, Sarah, to enter? You have to, like, uh, oh, you know, yeah. fill out a questionnaire and a survey. You have to stand on one leg and uh, rub your head and pat your tummy. <laughs> uh, you know, we've all entered competitions like that in the past. This isn't one of them. All you need to do is comment. So drop into the comments over on Facebook. Uh, on the, It's the Crafters TV Facebook Live that I'm monitoring. Or uh, just comment away on YouTube and you will be in with a chance to win this amazing bundle. 212. £12 worth of goodies, $292 worth of goodies. Uh, you've got a foil press machine, foil stamp dies, you've got paper craft foil, uh, stamp and cut dies, background uh, foils in there as well. It's an amazing 
foiling bundle. We're gonna be giving that away in this show. Also, the more you comment, the more chances you've got to win. Loads of you are uh, chatting away already. I can see Leona is here from Lee. Katie is here uh, in San Francisco. Anne's in from Australia. Diana in Arizona. Laurie's in Ohio. Ohio, Laurie. Oh, we're very international uh, again today. Uh, June saying that you look very pretty in pink, Sarah. Uh, and Diana and Jackie both saying how great that teacup looks. We will take your questions. Any questions that you've got as we go through the show, get them in to me and I'll pop them across to Sarah as we go through the show. Now, Let's dive in. I know a lot of you already own uh, the flower forming collections. That's of course why we bring you these masterclasses. But if you don't, if you haven't purchased any of the flower forming stuff before, don't worry because you can purchase in this show and then you'll be able to come back and watch this masterclass back later should you wish. This is a sort of great starter collection for you that we've got here. Now what you're getting included in here is you're getting three packs of the flower forming foam. Now our flower forming foam is amazing uh, because you're going to heat set it and what that means is it's going to really keep it its shape, you know, it's not gonna look like someone sat on it by the time it comes out of an envelope. It really does uh, keep that volume, which is great. Three different collections, you've got the greens in there, you've got the Garden of Love collection, you've also got the whites in there too. Now the whites are great because it means you can add colour to them, whether it's from your ink pads, whether it's from your markers, uh, adding your colour, creating your own different colour, so it means it's very, very versatile. You've then got your dyes in here, now we're going to give you a couple of different flower dyes in here, which is fantastic. So you've got in here your uh, 3D layer daisy in here, as well as your 3D layer daisy. You can see them just there. Uh, you've also got as well in there your traditional doily dye, which is awesome. It gives you a great background and grounding uh, to pop your uh, flowers onto. You've got your 3D layered rose in there, and you've also got your um, stamens in there. You get the stamens are the giveaway as well. You're getting those totally for free, those gorgeous rose gold ones. Now, what I would say to you is, if you're going for this, you're gonna watch this show, and you're gonna think, I'm gonna do that, you're gonna get it home, you're gonna become obsessed with it. So I definitely suggest that you get the extra foam as well. If you wanna get the foams, uh, then you can do that. 23 sheets in total there for you. So again, you've got the greens, uh, you've got the uh, Garden of Love, and you've then got the whites. You're actually getting the green ones totally free of charge in this combo, which is amazing. 1598 or 1990 if you want that. Now, something that's perfect to look, work alongside your flower form, because there's lots of uh, sort of cutting out for you to do, but you can do that all so quickly if you've got the Gemini Mini. Now, the Gemini Mini, it's got that power you expect from a Gemini, but it's portable, it is super fast. Now, it's always incredibly busy at the full price. That is the full price for the Gemini Mini, $29.99 or $44.95. However, when you're getting it in this configuration, we are giving you 25 pounds or $35 worth of freebies. You've got some beautiful Gemini Mini dies, you've got some edgeable dies in there, you've got a wonderful uh, embossing folder and a, a sentiment die in there too. Um, a lot of the stock has gone here, 25% uh, of the stock has already gone there, a quarter of that, so you'll want to be quick for that one. Right, keep getting your questions in, let me know. Oh, this would be a great one, I think, Sarah, as well, for people to send us in their photos of the things that they've been Ooh, making since yes. that past previous masterclass. If you want to do that, really easy to do so, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Make sure you put your name on there and where you're from as well, so we can give you a shout out when we show uh, your gorgeous creations too. Some other stuff on the show, some stuff I'm actually really worried about selling out quite early on. Uh, that This next one being one of those actually, it is the Spring is in the Air, uh, Sweet William, 50% gone. Uh, 10% sorry of this one gone. I think I need to get my ears syringed out today or something, Sarah. Uh, £6.50 or $9. We do believe it will sell this out though in this show. This is brilliant, Joe, by the way, for those little flowers. You know the little ditty ones I was showing you? That is what we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna be using the main starter kit for some of the core flowers, but then if you really wanna go for it, this item and the next one, got a brilliant saving on them and it's great to just advance your skills a little bit more, give you more items to work with. Awesome, definitely grab that, be quick for it though. We've also got the Rose Gold Quilling Flower Diet for you on the show as well, $8.99 or $13 if you want to grab that. Now definitely the glue of choice would be a hot glue to go with your flower forming projects. We've got hot glue gun on the show for you. It's actually one of our uh, anniversary mega deals, 
99 gets you the glue gun and we give you 10 glue sticks free of charge as that giveaway too. Uh, we've also got as well, for those of you that have already invested in the flower forming, the Gemini Mini, you use it a lot, we've got for you uh, the plastic folder and shim collection available on the show. 798 or 1190 if you want to go for that one. You're getting the purple shim totally free of charge when you go for it in that combination. Uh, loads of you share, commenting away, lots of questions coming in. I think what we'll do is, sir, if it's all right with you, we'll save up some of the questions. Yep. Every sort of 20 minutes, half an hour, we'll do a little bit of a QA and a with everyone's questions about flower forming. Because I think it's one of those things that a lot of people want to try, so it does generate loads and loads of questions. Remember as well, you can always watch this back over on our website after it's aired. You can share it if you do that on Facebook, or you do it on YouTube. Right, Sarah, I, my eyes are peeled and I am ready to learn all about flower forming. Yes, well, I'll start at the beginning, Joe. Once you get into seeing me up close, because that's the trick with this, we're gonna to need to have the cameras nice and close and you can look at all the detail I'm doing. Once I get into a bit of a routine, I'll say, yeah, okay, I've explained it, Joe. I'll keep making so everyone can watch and you hit me with some questions. Awesome. So we'll tag team it like that, okay? I'm gonna start off with some of the basics. So in that, starter kit that we've got on today okay you're gonna have some dies to get you started with the basics i haven't chosen our regular flower forming dies because a lot of you have them go and have a look on the website if you want them i've chosen some of the other ones so we can look at some of the other techniques different to what i've done in a previous master class then once we've kind of got the basics out the way i'm then going to start using that sweet william die to show you some how you can use your other flower dies to do flower forming not just flower forming dies and then also we'll move on and try have a go with the quilling ones so we'll try a little bit of everything we've got two hours so i've got loads and loads to show you in the way of flower forming and like joe says troubleshooting your questions as well now i'm going to start with this one and i know you're thinking hang on she said we're going to start easily but this is actually quite an easy flower if you've got the right die set and this is the rose die set that's in that starter kit and you can do the lovely little buds here and also these big open roses so i'm going to start with that one so that you can kind of learn both techniques in there and we'll do the rose flower then i'll progress on to showing you a different type of flower with the rose that we can do as well all right so this is the die set, right? And what's awesome about these dies, Joe, when you see them, the specialist flower forming dies that we do, can you see they've got a nice big open space in the middle? So that you've got all of this area, but then this, when it shrinks down, is still going to give you enough space in the middle for us to feed our stamens through. Now, I've got the dies. I'm going to cut everything in the mini. Let me just tell you, you can cut the dies with your Gemini and whatever. However, doing them in the mini, it's like that so quick and easy to do and you can cut through multiple layers so what i do is i take one of the sheets of foam and i fold it in half and then also in half again because we can comfortably cut through four layers of foam and that happens to be the right size for my mini it was good luck not good management i can tell you <laughs> right that was really good luck when we did that so then i'm going to just take the first die position it on there and we can come in with the mini and just run them through. Now, I've taught loads of classes, Joe, on this before. And I always find that people who've never used the Gemini mini before always find it so easy then to do this with the mini and kind of become mini converts as it was. So if that's you and you've never had a go with the mini before, trust me, you're going to absolutely love this. So give it, give it a go and you'll see how much easier it is. Now, can you see I'm all doing one at a time Joe, and that's so that I can make maximum use out of the form so I'm using like the, the the smallest amount of form and then you see where we've got that bit in there that is going to open up ah. so that I can then cut out another flower out of the space that's left in the form so you do waste as little form as possible, really, with this. We, I mean, we've only wasted there's, a tiny little bit here. There's lots of phones out there on the market, isn't there? I believe that ours is the best. I think it's an amazing quality. But there are differences, aren't there, between... There's good and bad, let's say, Sarah. There is. This is a, the, the special heat-activated form, OK? So the beauty with this is, is it's going to react to that heat when we start and do our die cutting with it. So if you've never seen this before, you've never worked with it before, just get some of this home to give it a go. Like you said, Joe, the reason we're doing the bumper packs today is once you get started, you'll totally, totally get hooked on this. Watch, I just want to show everybody how to make use out of that last little bit of foam that's left, you see. So if I cut all of these out, again, I'm, I'm wasting. There's still a little bit of foam on there for me to use, but even just to show you here, 
cut through just the two layers this time I'm using every little inch of that form that's there and I've probably got enough cut out here from one sheet of form for a good maybe three of these roses comfortably so you can certainly get plenty cut out Joe and waste very very little form in the process now one thing we haven't talked about what you do you are going to need if you don't already have them is our special tools okay so we've got the tools and there is two sets of tools that you need okay we've basically done a buy one get one free today so one set is these three flower forming ball tools which comes with this okay so they come with this one here the next tool is this here so it's the distressing tool which we're going to use a little bit later for some of our ruffled edges if you're going to buy this you're going to get this for free okay so you buy one you get the other one for free to do while we're doing the deal and that petal distress tool should be 7.99 or 12.95 you're getting that totally free of charge totally that free. is amazing value totally free so i'm going to start off though using just the ball tools and you need an iron now you can people ask me all the time can you use a heat gun i've got the heat gun out so that i can show you how you do it the easiest way is to use an iron and you want the iron on the hottest setting you can get the iron to the hotter it is the quicker and easier it reacts and watch what we're going to do i'm going to take one of these here we've got loads of these now cut out i'm going to take one of these nice big large form pieces just do them one at a time mind make sure you unpeel them okay we're going to take one and i'm going to hold it on the iron now what i'm going to get you to do i'm going to see if the close-up camera can get in really close on the iron from the side there we go maybe it's a little bit closer even still because once you're working on this iron and you'll see it from the side it'll start and bubble up really really fast so i take the one that we've got i hold it up against the iron hold it in place can you see it bubbling there you can see you get that really three-dimensional effect. Once it's like that, knock it off. I'm going to make sure I just position it in place here on the form. And then we're going to position it exactly how we want it and leave that to cool. Because that now, at that kind of three-dimensional formed shape, is how that whole thing's going to set. So let me show you it again. We'll do it with another one. This is the bit that always astounds people. So you pop it on the iron we're just keeping it moving getting it it's all bubbled up once it's bubbled knock it off but then while it's still hot don't just leave it you're going to position it in place that's how i want it positioned i'm going to leave it like that because that is then how it's going to set jaw so that's how you do your kind of first bubbling technique and if we look at the two of them up close next to each other let's just get in this is like the form how it started and then we've gone from this to create one of these three-dimensional bubbles just by heating it so no special tools nothing all we did was heat it and then position it on a little bit of form and the form comes in with the ball tools if you're getting our ball tools if you've got ball tools at home just want a little piece of nice soft form so that's how you do the kind of bubbling technique now watch what happens when i take one of the little tiny ones right these are now set and cooled down so they'll stay in place like that right if I bring this back in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same again, but I'm going to heat it. Because we're doing it with a small one, it's going to kind of keep going and shrivel up. So are you ready? We'll pop it on. We're heating, keeping it moving all the time. Now it's at the bubbly stage. I'm keeping heating, letting it go a little bit longer, let it fall off. And then while it's fallen off, I'm just going to just position it round into that little tiny bud now. And then once we're into a bud, I'm going to leave it like that because it'll set as a little bud. So that now is going to set in place and cool as a bud. So that'll be the middle. I'll do it again. This is the beauty with these, Joe. You can do them. You can just do them over and over and perfect that technique. So I guess it's quite a good one as well. Can you do all of the heat setting and then do all of the composition later if you were to? Could you sort of batch do it if you, you need to? You absolutely could. Look, I'm going to shape this one a little bit around my ball tool. And you see, I've just put the ball tool in there. So now this one's going to shape around there. That's what I'm doing. I'm shaping. Let's bring them in there so you can see them all. I'm shaping all of my little pieces so that I've got multiple little bits to work from. And then we're going to, once we've got a load all kind of um, heated up, then we can do the assembly. 
Loads of you are commenting away. Dragonfly saying she loves making the foam flowers. Carolyn says, I'm interested in watching this. I've bought the flower forming foam, but I've not done any as yet. Oh, you've got to get it out of the packet, Carolyn. Uh, promise me. Elaine says, I finally succumbed in order the Gemini Junior. I already have the daddy and the mini, but I couldn't resist the current offer. I told my hubby he can keep it until Christmas. Yeah, right. She goes on to say. <laughs> uh, Beth says as well, looking forward to some great demos. I've never tried the flower foam. The foam flowers, they're so pretty. Oh, try these. You're going to love it. Especially uh, with that starter kit we've got today. Uh, Cindy saying good morning from Missouri. Love foam flower demos. Uh, Booper saying the mini is a must-have as well. Carol says she's addicted to our show. She said they've become part of my morning routine. I learn something new every day. Can't wait to see how to make flowers. How oh, that's lovely, isn't it? The idea of learning something new every single day with us. Exactly. Well, that, that's, the, that's the exact idea that we're doing, George. Just trying to come up with... Different things we can show you all the time to kind of get those creative juices flowing. Now, look at this. I've damaged one of those petals just as I've dropped it on. All is not lost because all I'll do is when I, I, I form this into place, petals aren't perfect in nature. So don't put yourself under too much pressure to get them all perfect. Notice what I'm doing though, Joe, is every flower I'm, I'm doing each petal one at a time. And only when I'm happy with it, am I moving it off and starting on the next one. All right, so I'm going to go now. I'm going to do another bubbly one with one of my medium sized ones this time. So I'll get all of that warmed up, drop it off. And the, for the bubble, you see, you have to turn it over the other way. So this is how that's how we do the bubble ones. You turn them over that way and the cup ones, you turn them the other way. So have we got quite a lot there now? We've got little bit. Yeah, we've got quite a few. We're ready to pop it together. OK, now when I'm going to pop it together, we're going to use the glue gun. And we're going to do a little bit at a time, right? So I'm going to get here. I've got my glue gun and I'll just check I've got it. Yep, it's all nice and heated up. Now, remember something to think about. The glue gun's hot. So heat on the foam, it's going to make the foam react. So tiny little bits and don't be putting loads of glue on, taking ages. What I'm doing is I'm putting a tiny little bit in the middle here, Joe, there. And then I'm going to come in with the next piece and I'm going to see where I want that petal to fall. And I'm going to pop this in place so that they will react straight away. So there's my second piece in. And then I'm going to come back in. We're going to get another tiny little blob in the middle there. And once we've got our tiny little blob in, we're coming down a size to the next petal. We're going to put that next petal in place. And notice that I'm using my ball tools to do all of the holding with. So I've then got that position in place with the next ball tool. And I've just slightly offset those petals. I mean, you can see how it's starting to become a three-dimensional flower already, can't you? Now we're into the cup. So can you see I've got large, another relatively large, then it's slightly less open. We're into the smaller ones. So I've just gone down in sizes here. I might not even need all of these. I might miss a couple out as we're going. But let's see how we take them. So again, tiny little blob in the middle. Coming in, let's miss the big one out and let's come in with this next one. Now we're starting to look like a rose, you see, because now we've cupped them the other way. So you can see how that's starting to become the cup shape. And then I'm going to open this cup shape. Or bear in mind, as long as we don't heat the petals, they won't. You can you can touch them with your fingers; they won't move because they they're going to be heat set to where they're at. I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in with the slightly next one down, and in there with my tiny little ball to get that positioned into place. I bet this is one of those things you can just absolutely lose yourself in, Sarah. You know, like crochet or anything where you just sort of focus on it, shut the door on your craft, craft room, put a bit of music on, or have Crafters TV on in the background. Before you know it, two hours later and you're surrounded <laughs> in all of these gorgeous flowers. I can see it now. There we go. I'm going to pop that bit in the middle there, right? So there's my nice rose right in the middle. And I'm just going to use, have a look, have I got a porky tool in here somewhere? Yes, there's my porky tool, right? So I'm just going to use that edge of the porky tool just to make sure that's stuck in place. Tiny little one, right. So I've got some nice bunchy flowers. I've got some cuppy ones and then we've got some bubbly ones going the other way. And there is how you do a basic rose. Beautiful. Isn't that fabulous? So that is just, and that's just the first technique. I'm going to show you loads of flower techniques today. This is just the first one. 
and then we're going to build them all together remember and put them on that gorgeous gorgeous cup so i'll just tidy this flower away and we'll get ready to start work on the second one awesome well let me just have a recap uh, on the items that we've got on the show for you loads of you still commenting away uh, katie says it uh, she does names in flowers absolutely loves that uh, Kathy saying, love your program. It's awesome that I can be sitting in my car and don't have to miss your program. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you too, Kathy. Uh, and Ingrid says, best craft show on the air. How sweet is that? Right, what I'd like to do, it's getting very, very busy uh, on the website at the moment. So I want to just give you a recap, everything that we've got on the show for you to enable you to get these stunning uh, projects uh, and results that you're seeing Sarah achieve in the show. Uh, if you are new, you're definitely going to want to go for the main kit that we've got available for you because there's absolutely loads in here. Uh, what you've got, of course, is you've got your uh, foam and the foam is what's going to give you that beautiful result uh, from all of the different styles of flower uh, that you want to be creating. So you've got your greens in there, uh, you've got the whites in there, which is great, means you can add colour to that. Uh, you've got the Garden of Love collection, which has got those, uh, the whites, the greens and the beautiful powder pinks in there as well. What you've then got, of course, in here then is all of the dyes that you need to cut out your flower so you've got your lily uh, you've also got uh, your 3d layered rose and your 3d layered daisy they are what are going to create your flower for you what you've then got as well is the doily uh, um, border die that is designed to give you a background something to ground your um, floral project onto before you then put them onto your card or whatever it is that you're using them and you've also got the stamens uh, coming free in this collection from the rose gold uh, collection too which is amazing so you get all of that the price is incredible £41.96 or 53 .80 if you want to get it you've got a great saving don't forget as well if you're Club Inspire uh, in Club Inspire which I know pretty much all of you are you're going to get double points you're also going to still be able to use your discount as well so uh, Platinum members getting another what, £8 off of that over $10 off of that price you can see there what a lot of you are doing I can see thus far is you're ordering the main collection and then you're putting the extra foam into your basket as well which is a really savvy way of doing it because the foam's going to be the bit uh, that's a consumable element that you're going to want to come back for and uh, we don't always have it in stock what we've got now is we've got it in stock for you which is brilliant and we're also giving you one of the packs for free that's why a fifth of the stock has already gone though on that foam collection it'll only get busier and busier so you get the greens you get the garden of love and you get the whites when you go for that very busy also on the Mini, which really is. I mean, of course, you can do this through your Junior, you can do it through your larger Gemini machine, but the Mini is so quick and easy. And of course, you can do it anywhere then as well. $29.99 or $24.95 or is the price of the Mini. That is the Mini. We sell it day in and day out on our website at that price. However, today, as part of our anniversary giveaway event, we're going to give you £25 or $35 worth of freebies on top of that. And they are also dyes that you probably would have come back and bought anyway because they are fantastic for using in your mini uh, you've got the dragonfly the uh, birthday cake in there you've got that special friend sentiment dies uh, a crafty fun embossing folder and you've also got an edible stamp and die in there as well lots of you also stocking up on the shims for your uh, mini we've got a great deal for you today on those so you get a three pack of the plastic folders you get two of those so you're getting six of the plastic folders and you're going to get uh, the purple plastic shim so we're going to give you the purple plastic shim uh, totally free of charge which is amazing 7.98 or 11.90 to get six sets of plates is amazing value for money and you've got that great freebie in there as well which is brilliant right sarah do you want to do a few questions sarah i mean because there is like a lot of questions <laughs> coming right. in. Let us start on my heating bit. Okay Let doke. me get you to that stage. And then once I start on the iron, I'll you, give you the nod and you, you start asking me questions. You give me a prod and I'll fire some questions at you, okay? Right. So I'm going to use one of the other metal dyes from our starter kit. So it's another one from the Garden of Love. And it's this one here that's called your 3D layered daisy. And again, you get the small, the medium and the large size in here. So what I'm going to do is I've just realised I can use a little bit of that foam that I had cut another one of these out right and then i can show you how this is going to look as we go now i will warn you now we are waiting for a big foam delivery but we're about uh five to six weeks out from that so you know how joe was saying like 20 percent of the stock's gone on our form yes that's why you're getting the the freebie one in there the free green along with the other two colors now we should be all right on white 
but when we sell out of that uh, multi-buy bundle we you're going to be paying full price for the form basically so if you want to stock up make the most of it while we can and um and we will we've got loads more form flower products coming at the end of the year so it's definitely one of those techniques that we're going to keep building on now i'm going to start to show you some inking techniques on some of these jaw with this one i've just taken one of my spectrum noir pens and can you see you can just put if you want like a little bit of color on the inside of your flowers you can just draw it on with your pens so nice and simple and i've actually got loads of these flowers that i've already drawn these centers on so that you're not watching me do the drawing for age i wanted you to see how easy it was and i've done it in different shades and I've done some of the small ones, the medium ones, and then with the large ones, I've done, can you see where I've just drawn it into the middle and also where I've drawn it from the centre for a little bit. So you can see how you can draw those extra pieces on. Now, so what I just, think... Uh, would it be alcohol you'd use, alcohol inks to colour these? Could you use, you use any, a water base? You Both can work. Any, use awesome. our, our metallic pens. If you want a metallic finish on them, you can literally use anything you want. Now that looks, they look pretty, they look nicer than they did, but still pretty plain. If you were making these flowers out of paper, this is as far as you could get, right? Because we're making them out of this form, I'm going to take one of these large ones again, and I'm going to do the bubbly technique that I showed you. So we're going to go onto here. We're going to let that daisy start to bubble, knock it off. While it's like this, you can't leave it like this to settle. You need to open it back out like a daisy and then get the petals in place because however those petals cool is how that daisy is going to look and i know it looks like a real daisy in real life because all the petals will be different but we want ours to look perfect don't we so can you see there that's looking quite three-dimensional and again if i compare that to the one that we did have i mean there's just no comparison at all is there not absolutely no you want all of your flowers looking totally realistic so Joe, now's your time. Oh. I'm going to just do a little bit of heating of all of these and uh, I'll be in my own little world but be able to answer your questions. Right, okay, doke. I'm going to start. There is a very, very long list of them. So uh, let's start with Mandy says, Hi Sarah and Joe from a very wet Herefordshire. Really looking forward to learning techniques as have the kit. Only made a couple of flowers so far. Any idea when the leaf dyes are going to be back in stock? Uh, Good question. Ooh, I wonder you know if what, they though? might be coming in with that delivery that we're waiting for. Maybe. Do you know what you could use, though? Uh, is the vintage yes. lace? Is vintage it, lace the vintage has some lace. lovely swirls. Is yep. it festive? No, not festive foliage. There's some foliage dyes in there. There's two, actually, two different sets. I know we've said previously, haven't we, that they would work with that. Um, can you mm. add colour to the foam? You did say you can. Yep. Can you use things like glitter inks, like sparkle pens? Would they work? Ask Jacqueline. Yes, sparkle pens would work an absolute treat. They would set in there beautifully well. Pamela Craven is asking, uh, Sarah, will there be red foam? Uh, yes, there will be red foam. Ooh. So in October, we're going to be launching some Christmas foam colours ready for you doing all of your Christmas flowers. So Wonderful. watch this space. Uh, Leanne's asking for suggestions when it comes to colouring the stamens, if she's got like the white stamens, Sarah. Yep. So a lot of people have said, you know how the, uh, the inks that we do, the inks in a jar, yep. they literally take a set of the stamens, dunk them into the inks in a jar and it colours all of them. So that works an absolute treat. I would highly recommend that. Awesome. Susan's asking, can you use your flower forming dyes with regular um, papers and different other sort of cardstocks? Absolutely. They, they, are, they are standard um, format metal dyes. So you can use them with absolutely anything you want to. So if you want to cut fabrics with them, you want to cut... Um, you know, you could cut the inside of your tin cans that we were doing the other day. Any of that sort of stuff, no problem at all. Awesome. Joe wants to know how you would post these cards. How I would put them into either a box or an envelope box so that they're protected. And then I would be probably wrapping the card in a little bit of tissue paper as well. Awesome. Uh, uh, Mary's asking, is there a tip or trick to avoid strings from a hot glue gun? That's a good, that's a good question. I don't know. If you find out one, though, I'd love to know. <laughs> awesome. Rachel says, uh, can you use other glues? If so, which? Yes. Uh, so you could use, I use the hot glue because it's that it's instant. It's brilliant for demoing with and whatnot. But you can use, if you wanted to, you could get something like the, um, oh, you know our 3D glue gel? 
that would be brilliant. The yep. tacky glue would work a treat for that as well, Joe. That would work perfect. Uh, Mary Half on YouTube says, is there any chance of Christmas flowers in the future? There is indeed. Ooh. Well, actually, I mean, the, with, so with the set that you've got, the starter kit, Joe, it's got the, um, is it called a lily? It is the lily, it's yes. It's called a lily, but it's brilliant for doing your poinsettias. So anybody Wonderful. who wants to do poinsettias for Christmas, that lily dye is going to be perfect. The ones that we've got coming out at Christmas are for making things like Christmas acorns. Oh, they sound I fun. know. I'm very excited about it. I worked really hard with the team on these ones. Oh, that sounds amazing. Uh, Sonia says, do the foam flowers keep shape if you store them for later use? They do. They will. I mean, the, some of these samples, Joe, have literally been all over the world with us. And the only way that foam will reshape is if you reheat it. So it hopefully that answers that one. Uh, right, Rianne is asking, can I use the new poinsettia dye on the foam to make foam flowers? I'm thinking she yes. means from the vintage Christmas collection. From the collection. vintage Christmas yeah. collection. It would work an absolute treat. So awesome. yes, please do get that one. Uh, Wendy would like to know, what is the purple shim used for in the Gemini Mini? So that is for if you're using regular embossing folders. So if you're putting your 3D embossing folders through the Gemini Mini, then they are the right thickness. If you are using, instead of your 3D ones, just a regular like 2D embossing folder, it's not thick enough. You're going to need to use your, um, I think I've got enough flowers there to make my daisy. You're going to need to use your purple shim as well. Awesome. Uh, Ingrid can I, said. Can I hold you on your comments you can while I do the next Keep section. them coming in. Wonderful. So I'm There's ready so to many. I've never section. had so many questions in <laughs> one show. Keep them coming in. I'll keep putting them to Sarah. Right. Let's have a look. I've got some small daisy bits. I've got a couple of medium daisy bits. And then I've also got that large, a couple of large daisy bits to go at the end, right? So we've got plenty there. I think that is a really good number. Six, I think, is a good number to make quite a three-dimensional flower. What I have done is I've kept four to thread up, just to show you what a, a regular flower would look like without forming it. So what you need is some stamens to go in this one. So you've got stamens in the pack. I'm just using some regular white stamens, but you get the fancy pink ones in your pack, okay? So they're even nicer ones. All again, all of which will colour really nicely. So all you do is take a couple of stamens off the set. Now this is the bit that you need to watch to learn how to do the stamens, right? You need a bit of wire. So I find um like a uh, floristry wire is brilliant, but you want something nice and thin. So if you do a lot of jewelry making, you, a lot of your jewelry making wires work a treat, your floral wires, 28 gauge is what I'm using here, but it's a nice thin one that works. And watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrap the wire around the stamen. So I've taken a bunch of about six or seven stamens, folded them over the wire, so that I've got the wire at one side and the stamens at the other, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist. So I'm gonna hold the wire and I'm gonna twist the stamens so that what we end up with is we end up with like a little, can you see it's all kind of connected and stuck together and that is encapsulated inside the, uh, the wires that we've got here. So those wires, whereas it was two wires, they've kind of almost become one wire. And I'm gonna just take some scissors and trim that at the end so we've got like a nice point. That is like a little bunch of stamens ready to go. So once you've got your stamens ready, let me show you how we're gonna put it through into our flower. And the best tool to use, Joe, is our porky tool. And I've pulled the purple bit off the top so that I can thread these right off the top of the porky tool. So are you ready to see what we're gonna do? Well, sure am. We're going to start with the small, so whatever's at the top of the flower you're going to start with first. So I quite like this one at the top, so you just stab it first. And then when you lift it up, it's going to stay on your porky tool. And you can come and stab the next one. And then we can just come and stab the next one and stab as many as you want of them, right? Then into the medium size, then into some of the large size ones all the time just basically stabbing the next layer of flowers and that gets you a whole little bunch of flowers now i haven't quite stabbed in the middle of that last one but can you see how you've got like a nice big open area in the middle that's the way we design these flower forming forms so even though i haven't quite hit in the center for the stabbing i can take it off and we can restab it uh there we go and go and restab it in the middle and get it right into the center but just by pressing down on that form, that's why the form's so brilliant. The form comes in the kit with the ball tools. It enables you to get all of those together. 
And then all I do is I push this all the way through. So I've got it to this stage. I'm ready to go with my stamens. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed that through and right off the edge. And then take these stamens and thread them through the hole that we've just made. And then pull them down to see oh, how long wow. I want them stamens to be. And that's then feeding right through the edge. So that gives me the whole flower ready made with those stamens in the middle. And once you're at this stage, just come in with that glue gun again, or your tacky glue or whatever it is you're using, and put a little glob on the bottom like that, just so that, in fact, I think I'll put one at one side, one at the other, so that the glue sets around those stamens and you don't get them any kind of movement. Because we don't want to put glue on the other end, and that's going to be that's going to be our nice, perfect little daisy flower. And then obviously when the glue's dry, that's going to push flat and that bunches out all of the flower. So that's the next type of flower. So that's like a um, bunched up type of flower. That's your daisy one, Joe, right? I'll put that to one side and we'll get ready for one of the next type awesome. of ones. Awesome. What is the next one we're going to do, Sarah? Oh, so I thought we'd do some of the little ones. Please tell me we've got some of them Sweet Williams left, well, right? I'm going to use that one next uh, and do uh, a little bit of colour tinting. Fabulous. Let me just give you, I'll give you a quick recap. Uh, I just want to share what some of you are saying, saying over on Facebook uh, and YouTube. Kimberly uh, saying, uh, enjoying this masterclass show on flower forming, watching it whilst making festive giftable characters and keeping eyes in the back of my head open as I'm puppy sitting my 10 week old ball mastiff. Oh, that oh. sounds adorable. I feel like you need to send us a pic, Kimberly. Uh, it was International Dog Day yesterday, wasn't it? Send us a picture of the puppy. We'd love to see it. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. It's where you need to send no, Cindy saying I have the product. I was afraid I would do it wrong. It's not used it until now. I hope we're inspiring you to give it a go, Cindy. Lisa saying as well, it's so interesting. It looks like another v uh, avenue I would need to try. Thanks for the detailed demonstrations. Uh, and Anita says, happy anniversary to you all. I'd love to win this on my anniversary too. 10 fabulous years today for me and my lovely Andy. Well, happy anniversary for 10 years uh, to you and Andy, Anita. And remember, every single person that comments in the show today will go into a draw to win a fantastic selection of goodies. We're giving away a, uh, a whole host of goodies in every single show. In this show, it's a foil press with loads of a wonderful foil press bundle. And in this show alone, we could be giving away up to nine thousand pounds worth of product for free because pretty much almost everything you see on air here on Crafters TV during our anniversary uh, event will have freebies in there as well. We are giving away up to a quarter of a million pounds. Uh, I hope uh, Simon uh, isn't watching uh, over the course of this week. Uh, to over 200 pounds, over 290 dollars you could win uh, there as you can see in this hour alone. Uh, you've got your foil press machine and then all the dies that you're gonna need to go with it. Right, I wanna take a moment just to uh, recap the details of the full collection. It is getting really, really busy. I was meant to tell you that 15% of it had gone. I didn't, because uh, you know I was captivated by Sarah's demonstration. Then I was meant to tell you 20%. If I said that now, it'd be a fib, because a quarter of the stock of the main collection has sold out and gone. Easy to see why, uh, because you're getting those stamens for free in there. You get your green flower forming foam, along with your Garden of Love flower forming foam, and you're getting the white. Now the white's great because you can add uh, color to that, make that whatever color you want, which is brilliant. You've then got all the dyes that you need as well. So you've got your uh, 3D layered rose, your 3D layered daisy, you've got your lily dye in there, you've then got the doily border and background, which means that you can use that then to start layering your flowers up on top of and you've got the stamens in there from the rose gold collection as well very very busy on that now you may want to go for uh, the extra foam uh, if you uh, don't have the foam. Uh, maybe you're stocking up on the foam. It wouldn't be a bad idea to include an extra one uh, of this foam collection in with your main collection, because as Sarah said, it is coming, but it is gonna be a little while before we have the foam back in stock. And you're certainly not gonna get one of the foams for free, which is amazing. So you're basically paying for the natural white and the uh, lily collection, and then we're gonna give you the greens free of charge. 1598 or 1990, it gives you 23 sheets in total which is amazing now the biggest ball tools in craft uh, if you need the tools that you've seen Sarah using as we go through the show we've got them here available for you 14.99 is what you'd normally play for the six piece ball tool collection with the foam however because it's a giveaway event we're going to give you 17 uh, sorry 7.99 worth of the petal distress tool 
as well. You'll see Sarah use this as we go through the show. Uh, it's a real essential to have, especially if you want to distress that uh, pet, those petals that you're making as well. Over 30% off there, $14.99 or $19.95 if you want to get your hands on those. Now, there's a couple of other flower dyes that I know you're going to want to put in your basket once you've seen this next demonstration that Sarah's got planned for you. However, I would urge you to get one of them in there pretty quickly. It's this one right here. It's the Spring is in the Air Sweet William Flower. Now, originally designed to use with uh, papers, it works beautifully uh, with your foam as well. Uh, I know that over 10% of the stock of this had gone. There's a lot of this in baskets at the moment unchecked. A quarter of the stock now of that is gone. 6.50 or nine pounds would make a great addition to that main collection. The other one that I'd love you to pop, in your, in, pop into your basket is this one just here, which is our Rose Queen quilling flower dye uh, that you can see, $8.99 or $13 if you want to get your hands on that one right there. Very busy across absolutely everything on the show. Loads of you uh, getting yourself uh, stocked up. Remember as well, the more times you comment, the more chances you've got to win. Any questions that you've got, get them into me. I'll pop them uh, across to Sarah as we go through the show. I know this with these kind of masterclasses, it does seem to generate loads of questions as loads of you think about different ways you're going to use it. I would say, surely this has got to be one of the most versatile types types of crafting, Sarah, because oh. it doesn't matter from like uh, things that you can wear to scrapbooks and cards. There's so many applications, aren't there, for these amazing flowers? So many, Joe. Hence, we're going to make that lovely floating teacup. I'll try and get, get Joe to show you all of that floating teacup a little bit again. That's what we're going to do. The second half of the show, I'll be able to show you. And um, we're going to learn all the flowers and then put the flowers under the teacup. Now, I've done them on hairbands. I use them in my cards. There's little embellishments on my cards as well. Uh, you can make little brooches. Here we go. There's that teacup. That's what we're going to do. So in the second half of the show, I'm going to show you how to do, get the teacup looking like it's floating, basically. We, it's not, it's like a dark eye. You think it's going to be a dark eye. It's not. We're going to use a teaspoon. But I'm going to show you that. And all these flowers we make, we're going to put them on there. But there's so many different things you can do. Right, I'm going to get started. That Sweet William dye, absolutely brilliant, right? Just shows you, you don't have to just use the dyes that we do for flower forming. A lot of our other dyes, like, I mean, these you could be, you could be die cutting and then stamping them and then shaping them up. But let me just show you. I'm going to just take the white this time, Joe. So I'm going to fold all of this up into here. And can you see if I put this in, look how look how well these little pieces on here. So we've got one, and I am going to be really good and do them one at a time. This is why I say the mini's brilliant for it. Now I've actually done this, believe it or not, John, my six-year-old Oliver, uh, we've done a lot of flower forming at home because I let him use the mini. Now I do make him, obviously it's adult supervision on the time that we do with the iron but super simple and even somebody at that sort of age and that sort of level can do it. Now do you see the only thing with them is because they're not made for flower forming they don't have as big of a bit in the centre so these ones are better for gluing than for feeding through but you know you can have a little bit played sometimes just sometimes what you have to do I find is just this sounds ridiculous stab them through one of the petals <laughs> you can't quite get it through the middle if that makes sense so let's have a little bit of the um of the foam cut and then i can start and show you how we can do a little bit of coloring with them as well right there we go if you've got any other questions as long as you're watching me joe yeah. i'm all good now the time. Right. now's the time okay, look, the time has come up. you can tell we're like an all married couple sometimes aren't we you can tell we've kind of got used to yeah. doing this so we much. sleep in uh, separate bedrooms just like an unmarried <laughs> couple <laughs> um joe ann says if i don't like the shape i created can i reheat it a bit and reform it great question you can i mean i'll be really honest i struggle with reheating i generally just tend to think do you know it's one petal so, because you're only doing one petal at a time, it's not an awful lot with them. But in theory, yes, you can do that. I just sometimes think it's it. It never looks quite as good as a as like a. It's a little bit like we, me with my false eyelashes, Joe. The first time I wear them, they're lovely. When I try and get another day out of them, they don't quite stick on as well the second time. <laughs> that Fair makes <laughs> sense. Uh, Carlene asks, can you dip the stamens in aquatints to colour them? Aquatints, perfect. Wonderful. Do the flowers stay soft when they cool down? Ask Gilmore on YouTube. They do. Brilliant question. Look at this one here. Nice and soft. These, awesome. And these have been made over a year. And then look how easy that is. And they all go back to that lovely shape. It's still lovely and soft. Awesome. Tubbs asks on, I love some of the names you guys come up with. Can you use Pebio gilding wax to add colour to the foam? 
Yes, you absolutely can. You anything. It's, if it's going to stick, if it's going to colour the form, it's going to work. Uh, Terry asks, quick question: If I cut out the pieces and they should get tattered from storage, will the iron get that out? Uh, yes, so she means like creases and things like creases that. Creases when them. you're doing it. Yes, they will indeed. Awesome. Uh, Tracy says that now that the time has changed to 8 a.m. Eastern, Crufts TV is my new morning routine. I'm loving oh. everything this week. Learning lots of new things. These flowers are amazing. Um, question, should I use a separate iron for these flowers or can I just use my regular iron? I just use my regular iron at home. Yep, I literally use the one that I iron the kids' school uniforms with. <laughs> A lot of and our I say crafters that because say I, that I don't iron a lot of other stuff in our house. So <laughs> I was going to say a lot of crafters tell us that this the this the it's now the uh, flower forming iron because there's not a lot of other ironing going on, which is absolutely fine. It's a judgment free space here on Crafters TV. Uh, Shunter says, "Can you buy the daisy? Uh, can I get the daisy dye separately if I've already got a lot of the other stuff?" Good question. Uh, I'll get producer Johnny to uh, find out for me. Yeah, uh, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Georgia says, how many layers of foam can you cut through at a time? I like to do four. You can push it for more, but then all that happens is they're a bit of a hassle to pull apart. Okay. Right? Okay. What I've been doing here, Joe, just so you know, is I've just been col I'm just colouring them using one of our water reactive ink pads this time because then you've got a nice long open time to do all of the colouring onto the side with. Awesome. Tracy asks, can I use the foam to cut and shape butterflies with? Yes, you can. Oh, that would be lovely. That sounds fabulous. Love that idea. And uh, Barbara also says, can I use an embossing heat gun to heat the foam flowers? Right. Do you want to try one of those? Let's just try Ooh. that while we're okay, on, right? Because I get asked this all the time and I don't like to use this. I like to do the, um, I like to do it with the, uh, with the iron, right? But just have a one where we're not pulling two apart right so if i'm doing this i'm going to hold it right so if i just heat this up so can you see yes it's absolutely but because the heat gun's so strong it it's hard it to, a bit. it's just hard and if i put it on low i'm not getting enough heat so if you're wanting if you're wanting that really big bubble the the iron is brilliant if you're just wanting little bit of shaping in your petals. I mean, that's worked all right, hasn't it? Do you think it? you could refresh a finished product with, project with a heat gun? Ooh. You know, like give it a bit of a blow over just to sort of zhuzh it up a little bit, you know, with the heat, zhuzh them up a bit. You probably could, couldn't you? Yeah. I don't see why not. Uh, loads Ooh. of different ways of using these and you guys will come up with. I'd love as well for you to send us in some pictures. Uh, we need to see some pictures of the beautiful things that you've been making. You can do that by emailing a studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Uh, loads of you talking about how you're going to be using these. Uh, Karen says she's new to card making. We'd love to try flower forming. She's loving today's show. Uh, Anne says it looks so easy. Uh, Lynn saying as well, I've taken a few days off so I can hang with you all. Well, oh, welcome to the nice. club. Uh, that sounds like a lovely thing to do. Um, oh, Rianne says, it looks like you've got a bit of a tan while you're out on your hike, Sarah, and you are <laughs> looking gorgeous, she says. Well, thank you very much. Um, I don't know about tan. Maybe it was a rain tan. <laughs> It, was, right. uh, it did yeah. look very foggy at one it, point. It was, yes, it was. Uh, I'd like to think that's because we were so high up we were in the clouds, Joe. <laughs> of um, course. When I was climbing my mountain. <laughs> <laughs> is it a, what's the difference between a mountain and a hill? That's what I guess. Is well, it I'd like to know. Yes, is a mountain like, does it have to be a certain height? My, I was really annoyed last night. I got home just in time for tea and I was so pleased with myself and I'm, I'm full of it. I'm literally making Simon relive every step with me <laughs> and he's just getting really cross. He's like, I didn't want to come in the first place. I don't need to hear all of this. <laughs> and, then he to, and then he was like, stop calling it a mountain. It's not a mountain. It's a hill. Where was it, by the way, that you went? I went to the Lake District. And then in the Lake District, it's one of the highest hills, fells, Is it mountains. called like a peak? It's called Helvellyn. Helvellyn. Hell it's Velen. a mountain. It Breaking is a mountain. news, it's a mountain. Yes, You right. climbed a mountain right. yesterday. Has uh, someone just looked that up in the gallery on the internet? <laughs> yes, they have. Get on the phone to my husband. <laughs> Do you know what his extension number is? <laughs> it's, in fact, copy the link, send him the link, and tell him <laughs> with official, it's a mountain. I am so pleased with myself. I walked a mountain yesterday. I walked up a mountain. And then, do you want to know what I did? So there's the lake here. We walked up the mountain. There's another lake here. We decided to come back a different way. And I accidentally walked down the other side. Oh, so no. instead of walking down to Ullswater, we walked down towards Thirlmere. And we realised after about an hour, when we're looking at the lake and we're thinking, oh, it doesn't look like the lake we left. 
no, no, twisted a different lake. And my mum said, don't worry, we'll just get the bottom and get a taxi. And I was like, mum, to get a taxi all the way around the mountain, it's going to be about an hour. So we had to walk an hour back up to the top to walk down the right side of the mountain. <laughs> so you walked mountain. two mountains? You walked Dad, the mountain yes. twice? <laughs> yes. I walked it twice, but it was very good. It was very good. Go and have a little look if you want to look at my pictures, because I did it with my mum and my mum's brother, my uncle Pete, and uh, his wife, my auntie Suella, and, and my little cousin Amelia, who I, I was just telling her yesterday, I remember when she was a baby and they brought her, they brought her to visit for the first time. And, you know, I, would, I just started dating Simon and I was sitting with her on my knee and we thought that was, this was amazing that, you know, we were getting, we were in charge of a little baby when I was only 15. And then here she is 20 years later and I, was, I went to the pub and she ordered a glass of wine. And I was like, whoa, 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 should you be drinking, pet? <laughs> She's like, I am 20, Sarah. <laughs> Just a really interesting concept. They reckon that when the way that your brain works, Sarah, is that your brain always thinks people are the age when you met them. So friends of ah. mine that I met when they were like 26, 27, when someone asks me how old they are, they're forever 26 they're or 27. You, you forget that, of course, uh, the years move. But apparently it's got like a proper psychological, it's a proper psychological thing, apparently. Um, loads of you still loving all these demonstrations. And she says, holy smokes, that's an amazing free gift today. It is. And remember, if you want to win that gift today in this show, there'll be another one in the Cartload show later. All you need to do is comment along. Uh, the Sweet William that I was telling you about earlier, half of the stock has sold out. I'm just going to give you a really quick reminder of that one. You know, a lot of this is in unchecked baskets at the moment, so I think we will lose it quickly once people start to check out. It's £6.50 or $9 if you want to go for that. You're saving a third. Uh, you can see what it does just there. Perfect to use with your uh, flower forming foam. Uh, Elaine says, oh, I need the foil press machine. If it's half as easy to use as a Gemini, well, I've got a feeling my children are gonna be fending for themselves as well. Mama ain't got time to cook when she's crafting. Uh, <laughs> I love the idea of people just like, someone yesterday, Sarah, was saying they've changed meal times for their family so they can watch both shows together. They would normally have dinner sort of about five-ish. They brought it forward to 3.45 so they can get both the shows in. So it's show one, cook for family, show two. I love it. I, lo I love the level of commitment that our customers have to what we're doing here at Crafters TV. It is off the chart. Right, here we go. So what I've done is I've just done one of these where I've stuck it together and I did just put, in fact, come on, I'm going, to, I'm going to put one tiny little extra one in there. So this is with that Sweet William and I'm just feeding this tiny little bud into the middle because I think they look fabulous. But when you do do that, you absolutely must, you must not stick your finger to it, but you absolutely must just take your time and I, notice I keep using that porky tool to kind of poke it into place. That's a brilliant way to do it. And what I've done is I've just used, I don't intend to keep this on here. I'm going to peel it off the back. Um, because the glue, I didn't want, I didn't want it to stick to my, uh, what do you call it? What do you call this? this? You call this your glass mat. The glass mat. Didn't want to stick someone to the was glass saying, mat. saying, for the glue string, someone just mentioned in the comments uh, a few minutes ago, uh, a top tip is give your project a blast with a heat gun afterwards and apparently it makes them sort of disappear. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm. Right, there we go. Right, so there's a little bubbled up flower, right, with our little sweet William. What I've also got is somewhere I've done them, um, let's have a look. I've got some more that I've already got cut here with another one of our, um, from the same collection. So I wanted you to see, using your other dies that you've got, you can use any of these, and I'm gonna do the same again, but this time I'm gonna poke them and feed through some stamens. So you can watch us and keep asking awesome. questions, Joe. Uh, loads of people still chatting away. Uh, Juani says, a long time watcher, first time commenter from Ohio. Ohio, uh, oh, Winnie, lovely to hello. have you uh, in the building. I think our tricks worked, you know, Joe. Yeah. For those of you that didn't hear me explain this on Tuesday, this whole, um, it's, it's not a con, that's not the right word. <laughs> this whole ploy, basically we're trying to get you to comment and we thought what can we do to get people to comment on the shows i know what we'll give them something for free that'll get them commenting not just something for free i something mean something awesome for free amazing like brand new hobbies uh, is what we're giving away there's been gemini juice it's a foil press in this show amazing but it's absolutely got everybody commenting. And do you know why we've done it, right? Because what we've found is the feedback we have from people is they absolutely love Crafters TV, but they, they enjoy it even more when they start becoming part of the show and becoming part of the community. So our thinking was, 
if we do something to incentivize you to start and comment along next time you're watching a show after the anniversary event and we're not giving away stuff you'll comment along just because you're not you're not frightened anymore and you realize how nice it is to chat with everybody we love having chatter chat is my middle name <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's not actually it's leonard john my middle name in case you're wondering uh, but <laughs> leona says uh, irons were made for crafting not for housework That's yes <gasps> I we think need that, is... that on a little um we need that on like a plaque door yeah, or a, tea, a decorative tea towel yes Indeed. I like that one. Uh, Betsy says, thanks for the demo with the heat gun. Now we know. Michelle saying, I have the foam. So I need to finally break it open. Michelle, you really do. Uh, Denise says, just bought some more foam. Excited to see the new colours for Christmas. Got so many choices now for Christmas cards with all these glorious products. Would not know when to stop. Don't stop. Just keep going. Once Christmas comes, keep crafting on right through it is, would be uh, my suggestion, Denise. Francis saying, well done, Sarah. Congratulations. A mountain, absolutely brilliant. Uh, and Diane says, Sarah, you need to come to Tennessee and hike the beautiful Smoky Mountains. Now, that sounds like a lovely trip, that doesn't it? That sounds like a great trip. Yes, I mean, I've only done one day of hiking so far. So, uh, yeah, isn't there like bears and rattlesnakes over there as well? Oh, you'll have to do your new boots up really tight so they don't yeah. get in. <laughs> You were, everyone was laughing at me. If you weren't watching on Tuesday, basically, I did the Softer Side of Life show and then uh, I'd only bought my new boots. They'd only arrived on Monday. So I had to, my um, working them in was basically wearing them for Crafters TV on on Tuesday's shows before we went over on on, uh, on Wednesday. Uh, no, went over on Tuesday night. So that was all the wearing in that I did. So yes, um, let's just say my, my feet did hurt a little bit yesterday. All right, here we go. Right, I'm feeding that through, Joe. I am feeding through the stamens. I had just a little packet of stamens. So can you see there's the little, little flower this time? So you can see them either with the gluing or with the feeding through with the stamen so that you can kind of see both options there. Do you want to see this one where we'd fed that through so we'd let that dry? Oh, when yes, we please. get to this stage, what you do, you see, is you just get your um, scissors and you're just going to cut that off so that you're not left with any stamen and then that goes flat, you see, onto the project. It. So there we go. Right, I'm going to get ready. I've got two more flowers I want to teach you, but I think what I'll do is I'll just get a little bit tidied up and I'll show you how to do the teacup construction next. Okay, dope. Then we'll do a few more flowers and then we'll stick them onto our teacup. Sounds absolutely glorious. Now, the uh, big kit that's available to you, it's available in sort of a lot, of, it sort of breaks down into a few smaller collections. So I want to just go through uh, how it breaks down and what you're getting as for free as part of our giveaway event. So we're going to start with the metal die collection uh, first. So within the metal die collection, uh, you are going to, within the foam collection is where we're going to start, you're going to get the forest greens for free. You're not paying for the forest greens. So that's five ninety nine. You're not paying for it. And what you're also going to get though in here is the natural white and the, the uh, lily collection flower forming foam should be uh, 2197 it's 1598 or 1990 because you're getting that green one for free which is brilliant you've then got the die collection now the, or the metal die collection now the metal die collection what in here you're paying for the lily and the traditional doily and border we're going to give you for free the 3d layered daisy and the 3d layered rose you get both of those for free in that configuration now when you go for the big bundle, we push both of those deals together. So you're still getting for free the green one. You're still getting the two layered flower dies for free, but then you're getting an extra bonus as well, which is the stamens for free. So the value is still as good as if you went for the individuals, but it's actually even better because we give you those beautiful rose gold stamens as well. As always, with pretty much everything we bring to you here at Crafters TV, the best value always comes when you go for that larger collection. A third of the stock has already gone, and I'm hearing that is stock that is in people's baskets and totally checked out. There's a lot of you with this sat in your basket. Most of you, in fact, are going for the large collection, and then you're adding another of the foam collections into your basket as well. So if you were thinking about doing that, I'm actually worried about selling out of the foam before we sell out of the big collection and then we won't be able to bring the big collection because the foam will have gone. The foam, 40% of the foam has already now sold out and gone. Now you're gonna need some fabulous tools. If you're new to this, I know a lot of you already own the tools. If you're new to them, you will need these. 
These are fantastic because what these do is they allow you to shape those flowers. So you've got the ball tools with that foam mat there uh, as well. And then what you're also going to get, so that's what you're paying for. We're going to give you £7.99 worth of Petal Distress Tool uh, totally for free, which is uh, fantastic. Um, someone was actually asking about the foam mat just a moment ago. But yeah, that's the foam, is that that mat that is uh, in there with your ball tools, which is great. £14.99 and £19.95 if you want to go for those. Right, uh, the Gemini Mini is still available. It's on the show for you. A third of the stock load of the Gemini Mini has gone. Now, the giveaway is great with this. The Mini would cost you $29.99 or $44.95. It's on our website all the time. It's in our stores. We sell absolutely loads of them at that price. Today, what we're doing though, is we're gonna give you loads of great dyes included as well, and an embossing folder. You're gonna get the Dragonfly Dreams, which is worth $11.95. You're gonna get the Special Friend Dye. That one is worth $7.95. Uh, the Stampin' Dye, the Dream one, that gorgeous edgeable one, that's worth $7.95. Uh, the uh, beautiful Sara Signature Crafty Notions, embossing folder that's worth $4.95 and the celebration cake that one's worth $11.95 you're getting all of those for free you're getting 25 pounds or $35 worth of dye it's totally free of charge you may want to also as well pop into there a spare set of folders too you're getting basically six sets of cutting plates and we give you that purple shim included free of charge as well seven pounds 98 or eleven dollars 90 if you want to go for that one very very busy across pretty much uh, everything uh, that we've see, you've seen so far in the show now we need to go back to sweet william because ugh, shut the front flowery door i think it's going to be the first thing to sell out two thirds of the stock that's of the everything Sweet we've William. got as well Joe. That's, that's it is that's it that's the last of our stock have you in sent the global the, fulfillment center have you sent the emergency text message uh, the emergency text message went before the show because i knew right. we wouldn't have enough for the show okay emergency text message has been denied access is denied if you want it you will need to get it right away 650 or nine dollars two thirds has gone don't think we'll see that again before the end of the show. It's in a lot of baskets. We'll soon be at that point where more of you are trying to get it than we actually have stock available. Uh, loads of you still commenting away. Loads of questions still coming in as well. Keep them coming in. I'll keep popping them to, uh, across to Sarah. Malia says, the lovely Malia from Hawaii, Sarah Davis, you're such an inspiration. She says, you don't let anything stop you from doing what you want to accomplish and will tackle anything that your heart desires. I love that about you. I've seen the pictures from the hike. It looked like you guys had a blast. Amazing job, all of you. What a lovely sweet message from Malia. Oh, Malia, you're such a sweetheart. Yes, it was a wonderful day, me poor mum. I mean, you know, she's like, I was going to say she's nearly 60. She kept saying that yesterday. She's not, she's only 57, but in her <laughs> head, that's nearly 60 when she's struggling with something. She and like she, she was, was there. Eight, isn't it? Well, it was really funny because we all had like, I mean, I haven't got the gear. I bought the hiking boots, 40 quid. Simon let me use golfing jacket, which is like windproof, waterproof. Me mum, bless her, had a lovely Kath Kidson flowery um, <laughs> rainproof jacket, which is more a fashion accessory than a go hiking in the lake. So you saw all these serious hikers, you know, where they've got the proper backpacks and they've got the sticks for walking with them. And then here's me, me and me mum trouncing along and me mum's got a flowery jacket on and we have... Oh, I mean, no idea. Absolutely no idea. And then we got to a cliff face and we had to climb up the cliff. And we're just like, the blind leading the blind, are you? And, we, and she's like, are you all right, pet? I'm like, I'm all right, mother, are you all right? I'm all right, pet. And we just kept on going. It was all good. As we climbed the mountain. Remember that? Not it was a, a mountain. Not a hill. It was a mountain. I'm going straight up to see Simon after this short to tell him. Right. Are you ready to see the teacup? I am indeed. So, you will need for this next project... A teacup and saucer, right? I did this once. It was stuck on the back for ages. I don't know where it went. Uh, I did the project once and I didn't have a teacup and saucer. So I had a dessert bowl and a plate. It still worked. Didn't quite look as elegant. I bet like a brandy glass would work as well. Brandy glass would be perfect. You know, and, and charity shops are brilliant. You can buy teacup and saucer sets from the charity shops. Absolutely no problem. What are they um, called in the US charity shops? Are they called, are they called thrift, thrift, thrift shops? Shop, thrift, thrift shops. Thrift shops. Yeah. Thrift stores, which is a trendy word over here for charity shops. People <laughs> like thrift shops, right? They're called op shops in uh, Australia. Op shop. It's an opportunity shop. Opportunity shop, I yeah, like an it. op shop. Well, you need your teaspoon, you need a, a teacup and saucer and a spoon. Then you need a nice big strong man to bend your spoon, don't you, Joe? Oh, you do. Nice big strong Joe bent it for me before. <laughs> so can you see? 
he did me a bend right so this is me teach so this is what you need to do you need to bend i could do this one right so you need to bend it this way first of all right but then this one i'm not so good with right if you use like a pair of pliers and bend it round, can we'll you do see? it over the edge of the table is quite good. It, yeah, that's how Jordan did, didn't he? You did it over the edge of the table. Do you know we're going to have no teaspoons? I mean, my broom strength kitchen. is well documented, mm. Sarah. What can I say? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you're gonna, so you're gonna get a nice strong person to bend your spoon for you, right? There's the one that Joe's bent me. Now I couldn't decide. And we did it with a big dessert spoon as well because he did this for me, and I was like, "That's lovely, Joe," but I want more. But I want more like stick to put my flowers on. So then we decided to do a big spoon. And then Joe had this fantastic idea. Because we're going to glue it down, he found some sandpaper and he just roughed up the bottom of the spoon so that it wasn't as shiny because we're going to stick it under here. Now, here's what you're going to do. We're going to decide first of all, I like the pattern at the top. So I'm, you're going to stick this into here like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your glue gun and you're going to put plenty of glue on the bottom there. So there's your glue goes on the bottom of there. And then this sits in that glue. Now watch you don't burn yourself, okay? I'm terrible for this. So you're going to stick that into the glue. Now, I've taught this as classes before, Joe. And what generally tends to happen is I go around sticking everybody's stuff into place while everybody does the flower forming. So, and I could do, I mean, comfortably in a two hour class, I was doing at least um, at least 10 spoon sticking projects. <laughs> so the sticking, of, this bit's actually quite easy. So you get the spoon stuck into there. And then you see, we, we are going to leave that few minutes for it to harden. And then this is going to go onto the bottom of here, right? So this is when, the, the, always do this bit first. Let me show you how we're going to stick this at the bottom of here. So might need another glue stick. And I've actually... Well, it's a good job you get 10 free today, isn't it? Well, there you go. I always, I always just have a spare glue gun on the go. The, the, to be honest, glue guns, I've got two or three kicking around the house. You can never go wrong with them. So you're going to put a few big globules of the glue. Where have I put that spare glue stick? Let's get another one. Pop it in the back. Nice couple of big globules. There it is, right in front of us, Joe. Um, come on. Yeah, there. A few big globules. See, that's not quite as hot there now. And then this goes into here. All right. And sets it down in place. So you're going to get that nice and stuck down. Now, the trick is you need the whole thing balanced. Because if it's not, it'll tip backwards. All right. Now, different people, I've seen this done different ways. Some people stick coins or weights down here to weight it at the front all i do is i find you can just tilt this towards you a little bit right to just keep now i don't mind you see the spoon be the cup being right high like that other people like it so that the cup is laid way back oh see i've pulled this off now it will glue it back down it's all right you might need to glue it a few times other people like it where the cup's like that and the cup's more pouring. Well, the only problem is that's where it doesn't it doesn't um, tilt up. So this is where you're going to go. I'll just stick a couple of more bits of hot glue onto there. Let's get my other glue gun where it's all nice and hot inside. Yeah, there it is. And we'll stick that down again. You'll find you'll stick it a few times before you get it absolutely nailed. It'll take you a few. And even when you've stuck your flowers on, you'll possibly, if you're like me, find that every now and again it'll just come undone and you'll have to just re-stick it with a bit of hot glue. Oh, there's the bottom bit off. This is all we're going to do. We're going to just tilt that back how we had it. Pop a bit more glue on, Joe. It will just take a few goes the first time you get it and then it'll settle itself into place. There we go. So I'm going to hold that there a few minutes, Joe. Well, not even a few minutes. I'm going to leave it just to settle and then I'm going to get going and start well i'm going to start on the next couple of flowers before we start sticking our flowers on there fabulous I'd want you to stick some flowers on first what would you rather add it um oh what do you want to do why don't we do what you want to do go on then i'll start sticking the flowers on right all right awesome uh um, we'll just put some i'm going to put some extra hot glue around here by the way right breaking news i'm a bit worried uh sarah mm -hmm. uh, i don't normally get concerned or worried but it wasn't very long ago, I was telling you a third, was I, that of this kit had sold out and gone of the main collection. 
that's just jumped up from a third to half in the last like 10 minutes. So working on that rule of thumb, I'm a bit concerned about the stock for the end of the show. So what we'd normally say, wouldn't we, with these masterclasses is sit and watch the whole thing. You know, you've got loads of time, make your mind up and you know, and then you can just place your order at the end, depending if you want it. I don't want you to decide that you want it in the last sort of 10, 15 minutes of the show and then it have actually sold out. It is very, very busy. Uh, almost a thousand of you watching uh, this um, masterclass at the moment. And bear it in mind, but four, five, six times as many of you watch these shows back afterwards. If you're watching the show back afterwards, definitely check the website for the stock situation. It is just very, very busy out there at the moment, Sarah. Well, you keep them up to date. I'm going to let that, because we've put a lot of glue on there now, Joe. I'm going to let that glue settle a little bit before I start gluing anything on. Right. All right. What I am going to do, just to warn you, I know somebody was asking about when do we have the... Um, when do we have the foliage back in stock? I they promise were. you it'll be coming. Um, but uh, like you said, a lot of the other leaves and vines that we have will work perfectly well. But watch what you do is once you've got your leaves and vines cut out, still hold them over top of the iron and they'll 3D up, right? Look at how that's 3D'd up and looks really genuine now. So here is boring plain one. Here is 3D one that looks like as nature intended it. So I want you to do all of that with your 3D leaves and then also, even if you've just got some regular leaf dies, so look at this, I've got like a little stack of regular leaf dies and I like to hold it on the edge of the iron like this and just shape it up, make it all 3D. You see how easy that is? How awesome. Yeah, so any, any leaf dies you've got, this is going to work an absolute treat with. Gorgeous. Uh, Stephanie, this Stephanie's got it nailed, right? So she says, I love the second show time uh, as my husband gets on with the cooking whilst I watch your show. How awesome is that? I tell you what, we've we've absolutely nailed it with these show times now, Joe, haven't we? <laughs> we really have. Tootsie's saying, I love to watch you make the flowers. You make me believe I can do it too. You can. You genuinely can because you've got all of this inspiration here all yeah. the time for you. It's always on our website. You can share it on Facebook. You can save it on Facebook. You can bookmark it on YouTube. Uh, and also there's a whole host of other tutorials as well on our YouTube channel, on our website that are going to guide you through how to make these flowers yourself. Loads of you never tried flower forming before until you started uh, with the Crafters Companion flower forming uh, collections and are now making incredible home decor, incredible box frames, corsages, headbands, hair air bubbles, cards, scrapbooks, so many different things that you can do with these and it's all using the same flower. So it doesn't matter what sort of craft you're into, I think you're going to be able to utilise and enhance the projects that you make with these gorgeous flowers. And because they're all, all heat activated as well, it means that if you are gifting them, if you're sending them, I've seen flowers uh, before, Sarah, right, where yep. someone's put them in a an envelope or a box envelope they've sent them squashed. and it looks like someone sat on them all the way to the wedding <laughs> like they yeah. just come out and they're just so <laughs> limp and flat these with ours because of this property of the foam it's all designed isn't it so it's going to keep that yep. volume it's going to still look amazing well as you said with some of these samples have been going around for years and they still look absolutely well, incredible should i show you a couple of the samples so that you can see that yes please so, well, now we've got our foliage ready to stick on let me show you so this is a scrapbook page that Colleen did of me and our Helen, right? Awesome. Look how 3D... Now, Colleen lives in Canada. So Colleen made this in Canada, sent this to the UK. We had it on our show. I took it to America. It's come back from America. It's been to Germany with me. It's come back from Germany, and here it is. Been up and down to Peterborough a few times as well. Look how 3D all those flowers still are, right? So beautiful 3D still, and still very tactile and everything like this, okay? Whether it's that or, I love this idea of doing a little window box. So we've got these gorgeous stamp and dice, little window box, three-dimensional window box with all of your little flowers in there. I mean, how fabulous is that, Joe? And then you saw the project I showed you earlier where you've got those lovely books with the 3D roses on. All of these are, and I mean, Craigie, we've had these for ages and they get stored in boxes here and, and they've still withstood the test of time and travelling, no problem at all. Right? Absolutely beautiful. Right, here we go. I think my, I think this is starting to set a little bit. Yep, that's set beautifully well. So what I'm going to do, Joe, you can talk and ask questions or whatever it is you awesome. need to do. I'm going to just stick. I've got my glue guns here. I'm just going to stick my foliage in here first, okay? 
Let's go with some questions then, uh, if you wish. Uh, Kay is saying, when will the Ultimate Pro be available again? Is it not available at the moment on our website? Uh, it mm. should be. It should be. We'll have a little look for you. There is, though, isn't there? Though, some new inspiration maybe coming. Now would be a good time to get your Ultimate Pro. I'm not sure I'm allowed to say too much more about it other than that. Uh, but yeah, new inspiration coming. I, I can let Sarah say, tell you. I, I'm just not allowed to say. So I can't. Yeah, she, listen, I'm not sure that she's really allowed to tell you either, though. So we've we've, re we've recorded some new DVDs full of inspiration. So the ultimate's never going to change, but we've got these fabulous new DVDs that are coming. Okay. Mm. So if you're looking for, well, actually, I say DVDs. We've got down with the kids, Joe. We're putting them onto USBs, wow. right? We're, we are live and kicking in 2020 for all those people <laughs> who don't have their DVD players anymore. So if that's you, uh, trust me, we've got something awesome coming, okay? Awesome. So. It, uh, the Ultimate Pro is in stock right now over on the website, so go there. Um, it's put in the Ultimate Crafters Companion Pro into the website and you'll find it there. Uh, Anne says, how would it go if I use a fork? Uh, you can't see it when yes. you're finished, but it seems that me the glue would go between... The things and hold it easier. Yes, no that I've done it with a fork before as well, and it works just the same with a fork brilliantly. Awesome. Uh, Lisa is asking, how wide is the opening of the mini? I've never heard of it before, but mm -hmm. I think I might get one. Three inches. Awesome. Three inches. Mariah in upstate New York says, uh, has, Crafters uh, has Crafters Companion ever made her a hibiscus flower dye? Please let me know. I'd love it if they did. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Isn't that what you put in hibiscus your gin, one. hibiscus? I think it is what Ooh. you put in your gin. I trust you to know. As, as long as it's to got, alcohol and If it's there. in booze, I'll know about it. Don't you worry about that. Um, loads of questions coming in and loads of people uh, good morning from Chestertown Maryland says Sue Sarah uh, oh the white where did the white block come from that you were using to uh, with the flowers it's in your ball tools so you'll be able to find it there in the ball tools um, Joanne asks which ink pads would be best to tint the foam Sarah the Harmony Water Reactives Awesome. Uh, so, and they are all available as well individually in this show. So, if you're over on the website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu, click shop the show, and it's all in there. All the tools, all the foams, everything that you could possibly uh, want to create these gorgeous projects is there on the website for you. Uh, Yolanda says, "Good morning. I'm going to take out my flower forming uh, kit, uh, and I've never used it. So, thank you for the inspiration. You are more than welcome." Kathy Cox says, "This is the first time I've commented, and would like to thank you guys. My arrival." My order arrived yesterday so quickly. You're more than welcome. Uh, Amy says, I'm obsessed with making my own flowers with the Crafters Companion Collection. Amy, send us in some photos. We'd love to see pictures of your new obsession. Uh, you can do that by emailing studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Uh, Georgia Brown over on YouTube says, you have a great team behind you. I'm always watching your masterclasses again and again uh, with my earplug in one ear uh, while on the night shifts and I giggle and often forget where I am. I love it when people are at work listening to us. Uh, who is it that's a delivery driver? I forget, is it a Sandra? or a Susan, uh, you'll have to forgive me if I got your name wrong, but there is someone who watches our shows whilst on their delivery rounds as a delivery driver, uh, Sarah, and sometimes just start, they're giving a parcel to someone, just start burst out laughing in someone's face on the doorstep, which I think is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Anne says, I'm listening on headphones because I'm homeschooling my daughter and I just mixed up my maths with Sarah's story uh, and my daughter just reprimanded me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey, that's funny. Your um, daughter's right though. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen says, Sarah, I know that purple is your colour but that pink is stunning on you. Oh, thank you, you guys. You get compliments on that pink top. I really like it. Yeah, I'm it actually tell you also what. looks stunning on me as well. I think some people would agree. <laughs> <laughs> it did look good on you the day you tried it on, Joe. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, still very busy. Still loads of you commenting. Loads of you sharing ideas as well, which I really love. Um, Deanna says, I've uh, seen people use a hot glue, quick stick, E6000 uh, for a long stick. That would be a good combo for a long term, maybe. Uh, Trace says, I've been thinking about making one of these with a margarita glass instead of a teacup. Now yes. you're talking. At the weekend, I had something, Sarah. I'd never tried it before. My eyes had been opened. A lagerita. Oh. I'd never heard of such a thing. So it's like a margarita and it's got half a lager in it. It was absolutely oh. delicious. Was it I really? I can fully recommend them, yeah. Oh, so it's, it's like, I'm not sure so I like the like thought a of that. It's a bit like a zhuzhed up lager and lime. It was really, really yummy. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Um, 
Pam says, when I did mine, I glued it and I propped it up overnight before I stuck the flowers on. Another great idea. Good idea. Uh, Rhonda saying, uh, would be really good with a small teapot and a cup and saucers. So the flowers pouring out of the spout of the uh, teapot into the teacup. Now that sounds like uh, another, another good one. <laughs> you nearly didn't have a teacup. We nearly were going to be gluing the teacup back together there, Joe, I can tell you. So uh, don't it's look nice now. The flowers are starting really to go beautiful. on, isn't it? Really lovely. Don't forget as well, everyone that comments in this show is potentially going to win that amazing foil press bundle. We're going to be giving it away in the next, what, 35 minutes or so. Someone's going to be winning that because, of course, this is all part of our quarter of a million pound first anniversary uh, giveaway. A year. Has it gone quite quickly, Sarah, do you think? Uh, oh, year, I can't believe it. A year it. of Crafters TV. I can't believe we've been here on Crafters TV for a whole year, Joe. Can't believe it. Right. I've been here since, what, the end of January. That's flown by, so half of that time uh, I've been here. Absolutely uh, love it. Christine says, uh, Sarah, you are so teaching all of us how to do all these crafty things and how to get the most out of the products we buy. Thank you so much. That's why Crafters TV and Crafters Companion is such a great place. What a lovely thing to say. Uh, Helen says, uh, uh, Sarah, you can use a clothes pin to hold onto the stems to heat with an iron. Also to hold on the spoon in the cup till the glue sets. Oh, oh close. that's a nice a idea. A peg. Yeah, that's a nice idea. Oh, lovely. Um, do you want me to get on with the next flow, by the way? Do yes, you please. Uh, uh, do you want me to do that while you're commenting on? Do you want me to wait till you've got, have you got another one? No, I, I'm, I'm going to hold. I'm going to Right, uh, you hold, hold on to your comments. I'm going to just tidy this space down, get the next flower. I'm going to show you how to do that rolled paper flower. Right. Okie doke. Right, whilst you do that, I need to have a word. I'm going to be the bad news bear, I'm afraid. Oh, Joe. <laughs> I know, I know it's an anniversary, it's a celebration, there shouldn't be any bad news. However, 60% of the stock has gone. Six zero, almost two thirds of the stock now. And what that means is, a lot of you are with this in your basket at the moment as well. Remember what you're getting for free in this big bundle. You're getting that green flower forming foam, the two 3D layered flower dies, and you're getting the rose gold stamens totally free in this collection, which is amazing. Uh, that is why you're saving $25.96 or $28.96. $41.96 is your price today. You can use your club inspired discount as well. Platinum members will get another eight pounds uh, off of that. Uh, almost, uh, and also club inspired platinum members in the US are gonna get another $11, uh, $11 or more off of that as well. Very, very busy for the big collection. Also, I'm even slightly more worried about the foam. Now the foam on its own, half the stock of the foam individually has sold out and gone. Remember, you're paying for the Garden of Love Lily Collection foam, you're paying for the white foam, which is great, so versatile, because you can add your own colours that, which your alcohol markers, your water-based markers, whether it's uh, your metallic inks, all of that, and you get the green one totally free of charge, which is amazing. Sweet William is limited stock. If it's in your basket, you need to make sure you're getting it checked out. If it's in your basket and you don't want it, let it go, because there's actually more people trying to get hold of this now than there is actually stock available. So it's gonna go very, very quickly. I'll let you know when it sells out, but it's probably gonna be in the next few minutes, uh, I would imagine. Now, I wanna just quickly remind you, as well of the tools. Uh, there was a couple of questions about the tools in the comments there. These are the tools. These are your ball tools. Uh, we've got the biggest ball tools in craft, as Sarah uh, often says. We've got big balls, <laughs> is Indeed. what Sarah says. I, I would honk my horn if I was allowed to have it still. Uh, we've also got the petal distress tool. Now the petal distress tool should be $7.99. You get it totally free of charge when you buy the ball tools. And the ball tools have got the mat, which is the perfect consistency and texture for you to uh, form those gorgeous floral projects. $14.99 or $19.95 if you want to get your hands on that one just there. Right, what flower are we learning next, Sarah? Right, I'm going to show you how to do the rolled paper flower jaw. So you know okay, how don't. you've got this one here. So this set from the Rose Gold Collection. I've put this flower on the shore, but it's a different type of flower completely. We've got loads of different quilling flowers. If you've got lots of our old quilling flowers, you can do this technique with all of them. This one's great because inside, can you see, if I get the die set out, you can see you've got the quilling flower, but then you've also got 
like a little leaf there. You've got some stamens to go inside. So you've got lots of different parts. You've got some little little leaf sprigs that you could use for those of you that didn't have like some of the other foliage stuff. So this dye is brilliant if you want the other foliage. Now, can you see, Joe, how it works? You've got the large petals here going down to the small petals here. So what that means is with the quilling flower, you don't want to just keep rolling round and round and round each other if you want a bigger one. I'm going to show you what you do instead. So forget the form. Just like I showed you before, you're going to fold it into four and we're going to use it in our little uh, Gemini Mini. Now, if you find, which you will for this one, that your uh, die is longer than what the Gemini Mini is, do not worry because watch what we're going to do. I'm going to show you this. You can go through the Mini, right? And then actually, oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm very excited about this, Joe. I hadn't thought about this before. I'm going to get another folder and I'm going to just sandwich the other. Just make sure they don't go over top of each other. And I'm just going to take another folder. Sarah! Oh, yes! Right? And do you know what? I don't know if I've caught it exactly. Oh, I tell you what, we're not far off. Then all we're going to do is get that little bit there and that little bit here. Hello! <laughs> Isn't that just awesome? Right. Do you, to, do you want to see it again, seeing as I'm so pleased with myself? Yeah, go on then. Right, go on. So we'll put that on there. Right, we'll get this next bit. We'll go into our folder. So all I did was, and this is why you need those extra sets of folders, yes, you see. Yes, you get feed six when you go for those. And then once we get to this stage, just pop the next folder on. Make sure they aren't going over top of each other. You can feed the next one through and actually... You can if you want, you could always, and I'll just feed it all the way through. If you got to this point and you're not sure, you can always just move it up a little bit. But actually, look at that. I got even closer on this one. Yes, there we go. So awesome. now I've got plenty straight through. So even the die, if though the die was longer than the mini, doesn't matter if it's longer. But you do want them extra sets of folders. Cheryl's been in touch. It wasn't a Susan or a Sandra. It was a Cheryl. You'll have to forgive me, uh, Cheryl. And she says, it's me, Joe. I'm the delivery driver. And yes, I am listening all day, every day. Well, I hope you're having. <laughs> you're going to have to send us a selfie in at some point, uh, Cheryl, of you out on your round delivering your parcels. I'd be interested to see if she ends up delivering any crafters companion parcels while she's out That would be so as funny. Well. Do let us know. That would be so funny if she was doing that. I can imagine her knocking on the door saying, hey, I'm a fan as well. <laughs> 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 right, so all you're going to do is you're going to split these down. Can you see where you've got two of them in one? This is why I don't say put more than four layers together, right? Here's what you're going to need for this, Joe. You're going to need your really thin red liner tape. And you're going to take the red liner tape and we're going to go right along, here we go, I'm going to put it right along this bit, so you've got this bit here to be able to stick your red liner, and red liner tape's the best. You can use other double sided tapes, but red liner tape is honestly the best thing you can use for doing this with, right? So here we go. Now I can't, I'm going to struggle crafting and uh, no problem at find something to say, so you um, talk, but I can happily answer questions. Loads of people. Uh, could you use uh, my other road rock? Uh, now I can't talk. <laughs> uh, can you, it's catching I think. Sarah, could I use my other rolled flower dies with this foam? Yes, all of them. Awesome. You, what I need to emphasise is, you can use any dies at all with the foam. You don't need special dies. All the dies are made to exactly the same specification. We've just designed some dies that are a little bit easier for you to do flowers with, but try it with everything. You know, people saying they're going to use their poinsettias that they've just got in their latest uh, vintage Santa collection, absolutely. or you know, any of these. Absolutely, just anything. Any dies you've got will work beautifully with the form. Sandy on Facebook says, I've been watching Crafter TV since the beginning. It's been a great journey seeing all the improvements to make our experience even better. I even remember when the new cameras were brought in. I know, how Ooh. fabulous do we look? Now, well, fabulous some days. If you're not feeling so fabulous, the old cameras were a bit of a blessing sometimes, Sandy. Hey, uh, le let me tell you, me and Johnny, our producer, we used to, honestly, before we started as Crafters TV, as you know us, Crafters TV in the good old days used to be me and producer Johnny, he had my phone, no word of a lie, he used to stand there with my iPhone, no comments because he couldn't couldn't read the comments and, and, and hold the phone sideways at the same time. And uh, we used to do our, our, our lives just like that, believe it or not. <laughs> How we have grown. You wouldn't recognise us now. 
uh, Sarah says, uh, another Sarah, every show is so informative. Sarah rocks this teacup stand. Uh, Clarice is saying, Sarah, this teacup is beautiful. I've always wanted to make one of these so clever and now I can. Wendy's saying, I found you by accident in early March. My first experience was hearing Sarah and Joe giggling before the program had even started. <laughs> uh, that well, doesn't sound like us at all, Joe. Doesn't sound like us at <laughs> all. I think you've got the wrong channel there. Uh, Andrea says, thanks Sarah and Joe for making this dreary morning bright. You are more than welcome. And Stacy, one of our absolute, you know, top of the uh, top of the shop super fans uh, from Washington says, I love Crafter TV. I watch almost every day and it truly is the best part of my day. All of the crew is like beat uh, and give so many great hints, tips and wonderful inspiration. Love watching shows back on YouTube as well. Well, it's a pleasure to have uh, you, Stacey, and every single one of you uh, that tunes in regularly. Leanne saying she's going to hit the charity shops for some teacups and saucers later. Good uh, idea. Yep. Nikki saying she tried the teacups, Sarah did, and the fl Sarah did, and the flower for uh, flower foaming with Alice in Wonderland themed birthday party for my oh, niece. Oh, now Alice that in sounds Wonderland awesome. Party. <gasps> yeah. Oh, you'll have to send us some pictures of that. Absolutely, we'd love to see some pictures of that. Uh, any particular size? red liner tape asked Donna I like the very very fine stuff okie doke uh, Marianne saying happy anniversary to Crafter TV much gratitude for making sheltering in place living alone so much lovelier you are more than welcome it feels like it's <laughs> it's been a year we've been here but it's been quite the year is it? Well, it's been quite the six months let's say yes at least. and it's good that we've all been sort of together here on Crafters TV sort of getting each other through it yep. which has been nice doing loads of crafting taking our minds off of everything as well which is great it's like a sort of a, a safe space across Crafty yes. safe space, which I think and a lot of you. And that's why we've been encouraging people to comment through a lot of this because a lot of you sit and see everybody else comment, but don't. And it's when you start doing all the chit chat that it's like the best and really funny. Now, what I'm doing, Joe, just so you know, is if I just show you what one of these regular ones look like. So if you just did a regular quilling flower, you'd have flat petals. When I've used them, look at that. Look how 3D all of those petals are because we've put them on the iron. And all I did was hold them over top of the iron. Now, what I'm going to do is, and it is a little bit faffy, this, right? I'm not going, oh, do you know what we could do? Oh, right. I'm going to try and spray a little bit of um, stick and spray repositionable adhesive on the um, on the glass mat here, knowing that I will clean it off afterwards, right? Ooh. Do you know what? If you want some great sprays and you're in the UK, you're going to need to join us for our later Cartler show, you get the stick away, I believe it is, Sarah, for free. For free. Well, uh, do you know what my favourite thing about today's Cartload is, Joe? Oh, what's that? We're giving away £30,000 oh. worth of stuff. I mean, you thought this was good, where we give away the dies and we're giving away the, um, you know, the form and everything like that. But in the next show, we've got £10,000 worth of stuff to give away in this show, nearly. It's about nine, isn't it? It's is over 9000 Over nine. And in the next show, it is over £35,000 oh, worth of stuff. the front door. Uh, does Simon know about this? Yes, He's, uh, he is on board with celebrating the anniversary. Fair so enough. everything you buy, we're giving you something else away. Which is amazing. And prize draws in every show. Should, should we give you Johnny's little sneaky peek? I'm going to ask Johnny. Johnny, do you know what the prize draw is for the next show? <gasps> Look at you, Ooh, cheeky. Can you just find out? Give us a little sneaky peek. I mean, we haven't even given this one away yet. But I'm just saying, you know, there is, of course, a prize giveaway. And it's not like we're giving away, you know... I don't know, something fabulous, but like, you know, not huge. Not like we're giving you a single tape pen. Our tape pens are amazing, not taking anything away from our tape pen, but these are prize bundles worth hundreds and hundreds of pounds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars in every single show. So it is important that you tune in and join us every day uh, at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. on the East Coast or 5 a.m. Uh, and 8am on the west coast or uh, 1 and 4 here in the UK. I've just about got there, Sarah, with the Just uh, about the got there with the new times. Uh, the, I've the... remembered what we're giving away in the next show, by the way. What's uh, that? I put it together. It's one of my big collections. What's in it? Oh, no, you've got to tune in and watch the next show. We can't, we can't just be, you know, can't just be saying, telling them. Might be nice. got to tune in to find out. Might be like, okay. 
I'm not gonna, I'll get told off. Uh, you do need to find out. It's got lots of stuff in it. It's yes. got a big Gemini I put that it. one together, that one's awesome. I mean, this one's awesome. It's got that storage caddy in it as Don't well. tell them, don't tell them. It's got because I've got my notes over my mouth. I <laughs> know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do need to join us. And remember, in the next 20 minutes or so, we'll be giving away that amazing uh, foil press bumper bundle as well. Very, very busy on your large collection for the flower for me. It's getting busier and busier and busier as we move towards the end of the show. Uh, two thirds now of the stock of that big collection has sold out and gone. I'm so excited for all of you guys to get this collection home and start making wonderful things and start sharing pictures with us either on Instagram or over on Facebook or you know in the comments and sending them uh, into the studio uh, as well. Uh, we've had loads of pictures in. We're gonna share some with you actually before the end of this show. So make sure uh, you keep looking out for those. Loving the show. What I've done, by the way, Joe. Everyone's been watching, but I've basically stuck three layers of those flowers together on top of each other. So usually, when I've done quilling flowers in the past, I've said everyone roll one round, then roll the next one round, then roll the next one. Well, that won't work with these because you've got the small petals then moving towards the larger petals. Right. So what you need to do is you stick them all on top of each other. Three gives you a flower at that sort of shape and size. Pretty, quite pretty that isn't it I quite like that one and then actually I'm looking and that that petal just feels a bit big to me so we'll just pull it off <laughs> look, look we'll just lose them a couple of bits there that, that's much it's nicer beautiful right and that's, that's what you can do you can just get it exactly how you want it now let's have a little look I'm just going to get this cleaned off here so that I haven't got glue all over then right so that we stuck down I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue on there Right, and that's my rolled flower one. Now I think I've got time to show you one more flower type jaw, and I'm gonna go back to using the rose that's in the main collection. So I'll get that ready, and then we'll do, I'll show you how to do a ruffled flower with the ruffler, which is free. Awesome, yes it is free. You get the ruffler or the petal distress tool totally free of charge uh, when you buy those ball tools and the foam mat as well. Uh, I just want to recap on the big collection. Just remember just how much you're getting for free. There's two smaller bundles basically that have gone into making up this larger collection. So you've got your flower forming foam bundle. A lot of people are adding an extra flower forming foam bundle into their basket. So I'll give you the details for that in just a minute. What you've also got, so you're getting the green foam for free in there. You've then got the dye bundle in the dye bundle you've got your lily you've also got your 3d layered rose and your 3d layered daisy and you've got your traditional doily and border now the two 3d layered flower dyes again totally free of charge so what you're getting is you're getting and then when you buy the big collection we give you the stamens as well so you get the stamens worth five dollars 99 included you get the two 3d layered flower dyes they're worth 9.99 each and you then get as well the foliage green uh, flower forming foam worth $9.95 as well. So you're getting so much in there. Your total saving is $25.96 in the UK, $28.96 in the US. You can use your club inspired discount as well. However, over two thirds of the stock has now sold out and gone. It is very busy as we move uh, towards the end of this show. If you're watching this show back after the show, uh, you're watching this show back after the show, definitely check the website for the stock situation is what I would say. Uh, now the extra foam, I did mention it just a moment ago. If you want to go for the extra foam, absolutely you can. We will have more foam coming later down the line. What we won't be having though, I don't think is giving you packs of foam away like we are as part of this very special anniversary giveaway. $15.98, you're basically paying for the white one which is super versatile because you can add all of your own inks and colours onto that and the Garden of Love one and we're giving you the greens totally free of charge, the foliage greens. Uh, we've also got the Gemini Mini available for you on the show at the moment as well, which is awesome uh, because the price that you're paying here, the price you can see here, $29.99 or $44.95 is for the Mini alone. Now the Mini, that's the full price of the Mini, but we're gonna give you so much for free included as well because you're gonna get the Dragonfly Dreams die worth $11.95. The special friend stamp and die edible worth seven ninety five dollars. Uh, you're going to get the the uh, embossing folder, the crafty notions one worth four dollars ninety five, and the celebration cake die worth eleven dollars ninety five. You buy the mini, we give you five freebies included, which is amazing, incredible value for money. You may want to go for the extra folders too. With the folders, when you buy the two packs of folders, you get three in each pack, so it's really good value. You're getting six packs, uh, six uh, folders here for that price of seven ninety eight or eleven ninety. We give you the purple shim included for free as well. The purple shim is what you're going to use 
when you are uh, using your regular embossing folders. Make sure you pop those into your basket as well. Getting busier and busier and busier uh, as we move towards the end of the show. Got some pictures that we'd love to share with you from crafters just like you that have been sending us in pictures of the projects they have been making. Uh, this one is Julie P has sent this one into us. I love it, that really Ooh, nice dirt, deep purple. Julie. I love that and I love how she's done the um, cardstock for the flourishes behind and then the dark colour for the flower. She's oh, been she's very doing busy. One like this as well. Have a look at this. Now, this is what I always say to people. Julie, these are fabulous because you do a nice, simple card and I know I, I don't want you to think I'm dumbing down your card saying simple, but that's just one die cut on the end, isn't it, Julie? And then how fabulous does it look when you stick a one of those in the corner? Mm, absolutely. How realistic does this next one from Bianca look, Sarah? Oh, Bianca. Oh, Bianca's quite a good flower maker, isn't she? Bianca, I love Love it. Now, She's been doing that loads. is the technique I'm going to show you next. Oh, this is what I'm going to show you next with the flourish edges. Bianca, those are fabulous big flowers. Oh, I love Bianca's flowers. Love them. Love, love, love them. Bianca's one of the girls on our design team, actually. Is she? Yes, she does some lovely if flowers. You want to send us photos in any show, you can always send us your pictures at studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. It's where you need to turn them into. Right, one last technique then, Sarah. Right. Uh, what do we have? What's the, what one have we got left? Have you saved the best till last? Oh, of course I have. This, this, well, I've I don't know about the best, I've saved my favourite till last, right? So this is where we're going to use the Petal Distress Tool, which is this one, okay? And what I did want to show you is, with all of these flowers, you can you can tint the edges. So can you remember, if you get your Harmony Water Reactive Ink Pads, any ink pad's fine, but what you can do is you can just add a little bit of colour around the edges like this. Now, I would recommend, if you're being really good, you do it on the top and bottom, right? So you would do it on the top side, turn it over and do the underside. But look how quick it is, just adding that little bit of colour. But look, I'm adding just a tiny amount, Joe. I'm always, I'm never going straight from here onto the edge. I'm always tapping it off and then picking up a little bit and popping that on. Now, that is the pink onto the pink form. I've also done some with a little bit of brown onto the fawny coloured form, which is this one that we've got here. Oh, I love right? that one. So that looks, and that's the one I'm going to show you the ruffling with. I kind of had to get everything ready ahead of time so that if in case I was rushing, as I am when we get to the last few, I would have the flowers ready to go because the inking takes a little while. So I've inked some large ones and I'm going to go with, um, I've got two large Let's have a look. I'm going to go with one, two, three medium, and then maybe one or two small. Is that right? Yeah. Two large, three medium, two small. I think that will make quite a nice flower. Six is a good number, like I said. Now, this petal distress tool. How it works, Joe, is you've got lines going this side. If I bend over, so this is near my mic, can you hear? Oh, yeah. Yeah? So you can hear that. If I go this way, nothing right? You need the friction of them going crossways. So you're going to have it, if you look from the over you're going to have it like this, you're not going to do it like this, because that does nothing, okay? Now, if you were to just do this and ruffle it on here, it's not going to hold its shape, because it's got to be warm to form a new shape. So we're going to warm it up, and then what we're going to do is, we're going to fold these petals on top of each other. So there's two. Then we're going to fold these on top of each other here, and the bottom one underneath like this. So we're going to fold all five petals on top of each other, and then we're going to nip the petals in at the edge like this, and we're going to do the ruffling on the very, very edge, okay? Now, if I open this out now, you see, what's going to happen is it's going to be a little bit ruffled, but it's pretty much going back to its original shape almost. Watch what happens when I bring in the iron. I'll do the other one with the iron. So I'm just going to go... Um, I like to hold it. Here we go with the pointer. One, two, three. Drop it off. So it's just had a few seconds. Then you're going to fold all those five petals on top of each other. You're going to nip them in like I showed you. And we're going to do that little bit of ruffling. So because we did it when it was hot, look how much better it holds oh, its wow. shape. And then you open these back out and you can see... I mean, look at the difference between the one that we hadn't heated and the one that we have heated. Isn't it incredible how, how robust shit. our foam is that you can heat oh. it and then do that with it and it still keeps the integrity? Because there's other foams out there. I mean, they'd just fall apart, wouldn't they? they? Would, they would yeah, because they, they maybe weren't made for this technique. Or even the other forms out there that were made for this technique, 
they weren't made by my team. Great and question. I'm just being really honest like that. You know, trust me, Leanne and her team did so much work with the form manufacturer on getting a form to work exactly to our standards and what we needed. Um, can you foil the foam as asked Claire? What a great Ooh. question. Well, yes, you could foil onto it. It would take it, but bear in mind, the process of foiling, it means that you're of heating it. Of course it does, yes. Yep. So it means that it's going to start and try and take a new shape on. And I don't know whether you want it to take a new shape on when it's heated and being foiled. So in theory, absolutely. But then the reality in practice is it might might not then take on the, the shape that you want to. But I think someone's idea about gilding wax was a really, really yeah, good one. Yeah, I love one. that one. Really good. Someone with a fabulous name has messaged us. Nancy Tischendorf. What an Whoa. amazing name. Love Sounds it. so glamorous, Nancy. She says, I've not tried the flower forming yet. Rather intimidated. You make it look so easy. That will be my next try. And yes, this week is my first time commenting. Yes. So your, your giveaway ploy has worked. Nancy ploy. Tischendorf. That's a better word. Didn't I say hoodwinked or something like uh, that? Conned, I think uh, you said. <laughs> I don't know that I used the word conned. If I did, I definitely didn't mean to. Um, what is it? Ploy. Yes. It is a ploy. <laughs> and, and honestly, guys, all I would say is we have thousands of people watch our shows all the time and a couple of hundred people comment along. And the ones who comment along tell us it has become such a community to them because they've made so many great friends. And all that I want is I want for you to make friends as well. And what will happen is as soon as you start commenting, people will chat along with you. And then what you what you find is instead of just me and Joe talking to you and asking and answering your questions, you can all answer each other question each other's questions. And we just what we're trying to create here, folks, is like a community of crafters who can help and inspire each other. So all we say is comment along and then um, trust me, you'll get even more support and you'll love it even more. Awesome. Uh, and loads of people are commenting along. Uh, that main collection is incredibly busy. Remember, you're getting uh, the green foam. You're getting the two 3D layered flowers in there. And you're getting those rose gold stamens. Uh, I know a lot of you usually uh, have the luxury of buying after the hour. I'm not sure how much longer after the hour this is going to be available for this collection. It is very, very busy uh, at the moment. If you're watching this back at a later date, now remember, pretty much all the deals in our shows last for 48 hours after the show or whilst the stocks last so if you are watching this back at a later date definitely check the website for the current stock situation what i would say though is the inspiration it lives on pretty much forever over on our website so you're going to be able to go and watch this one back if you love this flower form uh, flower forming foam mask flower foaming uh, i've said it so you i did it i got all the way your... through the flower forming foam masterclass if you've loved this one you can actually trawl back through our library of masterclasses you can go and watch the first one back that we did uh, right back in sort of march i think it was go right back to the beginning it was before we introduced masterclasses so it was called a sarah special show awesome. so go back and look for that sarah special you'll see the teacup and you'll see me and i've done different flowers to the ones i've done today because we've used different flower dyes so again it's all about just like learning different techniques as it was um nikki says i i didn't i need to learn out i did not know what the word crop meant in a crafting term until yesterday can you believe that sarah I, i've never I, heard of a crop yeah it doesn't, doesn't surprise me though because a lot of people that might be completely new to them Hmm. Nikki says, I look forward to these masterclasses. It's like going to a virtual crop. I get my supplies and I craft along. I bet loads of you are crafting along with us uh, today. Um, Debbie says as well, she's ordered the set plus the foam. Thanks for the double points. I'm now platinum. Congratulations, yes. Deb Debbie. Brilliant. Love it. What I'm going to do, Joe, because we've got a little bit of time, I'm going to show everyone how to do one of them stamen sets again. Gorgeous. So just in case you missed it earlier, okay, you're going to get a little bit of um, oh, wire. And I use jewellery wire or floristry wire, but very thin. So if I just put this over there, you can see it there against my top. It's 28 gauge, this one, nice and thin. And then what you do is you want a little pack of stamens, and I find... Six or seven stamens is a nice number. If you're doing a little small flower, do less, but don't be tight. Don't think, oh, I'll only use two or three, because trust me, they look better with more stamens in. So there we go, I'll put an extra one in there and you've got eight. But you need to kind of line them up, because if you see, if you get a stray one, it's going to stick up in your little, little bunch at the end, right? So here we go. We're going to get this, and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around the middle of the stamens. Okay, the stamens fold over, 
the wire folds over and then you just got to twist the stamens so they come nice and tight and they're twisted with the wire there can you see what i'm doing so and i find it easier to twist the stamens than to twist the wire so we've now got like a nice double wire so it's nice and strong with a pointed edge just cut off the edge so you've got like a nice pointed edge there there's our stamens then bring in your foam again so this is the foam that comes in with your ball tools we've got a small medium medium there's another small there's another medium and then there's our large one at the top there's our other large one so we've got like seven flowers here right you can tell that's the one that we didn't heat can't you i'm going to put you that at really the bottom see the difference, right? remember my trick porky tool but pull the edge off your porky tool and we're going to go into the smallest one then the next size one then we're going to come into the next one just make sure you feed them petals out and into the next one and keep going and like i said six or seven layers of flowers is absolutely brilliant for doing this technique with so there's my layers of flowers and then all we do is we go all the way through feed that right off the bottom and then pop this right through and feed the stamens through so there's our lovely ruffled flower and then all we do on the back is pop a little bit of it will go tiny oh, I think that glue. might be my favourite one as well, you know. So it's my, it's it's my gorgeous, favourite, the ruffled it? one. And let's have a look. I'm going to get this out of the way. Now, I'm going to bring in my teacup and we're going to stick some of these other ones in. So can you see, there's my rolled one that we've done. Let's cut the back off that jaw. And I'm going to stick my rolled one on. I will go and stick all of these flowers on. There's another ruffled one. I'll go into there. Uh, and there's that big ruffled one I've done. There's another rolled one. I'll go into here. I'm going to stick them all down, Joe, as you're chit chatting. Should we as do you're the giveaway? Chit chatting the end of the show. Should we do the giveaway? You can do anything oh. you want, Joe. Go for it. Right. Okay. We're going to have a drum roll. Okay. Uh, right. The winner is from Whoop. Facebook. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to have to oh no. no. <laughs> Go on, have a look at what he's done. Oh, Everything's gone this, you see all this lovely pack shot there. Is <laughs> just here. It's down here. Don't worry. My water bottle's fine. It's all right. I'll hold, I'll hold that there for the end of the show. My water bottle's fine. The winner is <laughs> Claire Chivers on Facebook. Claire Congratulations. Chivers. No Claire. relation of Leanne's, is she? I hope not. Uh, but <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> not that we well, don't know Leanne. Have, we can't have favouritism. She goes on to say, I must say, friendliest people are crafty people. What a lovely comment. Right, she wins. Should we have a little look at what she's won? Go on. All of that wonderful stuff. She won the foil press. Uh, she's got all of those wonderful dyes and accessories uh, to go with the foil press as well. Right, what you need to do, please, Claire, is you need to send us an email as well to prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com. You are winning all of that lovely lot, which is fantastic. And you can just let us know uh, what you want in what show and we'll organise for it all to be sent out to you, uh, which is fantastic. Right, I'm still picking up all these bits and bobs. Uh, I think I'm being a little less vigorous with the drum rolls uh, for the rest of the week, maybe. Uh, so uh, it's destroying my uh, destroying my displays over here. I don't know, uh, a, bit, a bit of excitement was lovely, Joe. <laughs> uh, how are you getting on over there? Brilliant. I'm sticking my last couple of flowers into place here, Joe. So I'd done a couple before, and so these those nice little tiny ones with the Sweet William, which I'm going to get us sold out now. Um, but I'd done a few of those lovely little Sweet Williams, and they just finish everything off really nicely. Also, um, Ingrid's asking in the comments, did you say 28 gauge wire? Sorry, I did juice. say 28 gauge wire. Brilliant, Ing uh, Ingrid, for double checking. Thank you for that. Wonderful. And also, Creative Touches on YouTube says, can you use the quick dry ink pads to colour the foam? Uh, quick dry ink pads, yes, you can. Yes, you can use the quick dry ink pads. That would work lovely. Awesome. Uh, very busy as we move towards the end of the show. Don't forget, this isn't the only show for today. Oh, no, there's another really super busy show uh just about just well you haven't got long to wait you've got an hour and a few more minutes that looks gorgeous sarah look at that finished with two minutes to go at the end of the show and we've got all those different types of flowers that we've covered today 
How Just amazing shows is how that? Easy. And so remember, you, if you love this tutorial, if you're watching on Facebook, all you need to do is click share. And then when you share it, it adds it to your wall. I do this with all of my favorite ones that I want, that I know they saved on my wall. Uh, or if you're watching on YouTube, you can bookmark it and you can come back. Or just make a note of what day the show was on. And you can go on our website to Crafters TV section and all of our old shows are on there. So you can go back and watch anything. And what I've loved is, if you get these while we're on the anniversary, so today is what, Thursday, so you've only got till the weekend for us to be giving all this stuff away. So we had 10,000 pounds worth of stuff needed to give away on this show. I think we've given away well over half of it. So whether you're getting the mini and all the freebies or you're getting the form and the extra form, whether you're getting the flower form and dyes and the extras, whatever it is, we've got all that product to give away. Make the most of it before it's gone because after this week yes the education will still live on but the freebies won't the freebies with every purchase will not still be there you'll have to be paying full price for everything absolutely if you want this lovely green foam that's still just up there on the pack shop uh, you're gonna have to be quick uh, remember very busy for the very busy for the extra foam very very busy as well for the dies and for the whole collection so definitely grab that if you want the foam on its own a lot of you are adding a separate one of those in 1598 or 1990 if you want to get that don't forget about the Gemini mini as well uh, we'll be doing a little bit more on the Gemini mini in the next show as well in our car load show and actually on that note you've got an hour to get yourself reset get your craft station clean down get yourself a cup of tea maybe a bit of lunch depending on uh, wherever you are ready uh, for the next show which would be just in just over an hour if you have got uh, the flower forming collection or flower forming foam in your basket definitely think about checking it out because it is very very busy as we come towards the end of the show we're going to be giving even more product away uh, in the next hour uh, in the next two hours of course for cartload and there'll be a brand new giveaway big Gemini uh, so make sure you join us back here in an hour's time we'll see you there take care